Hi. Hi and hello and happy Thursday. My dudes. Also Lars Pan, also out of town gamers, also Alex, also Snoop. How y'all doing? It's good to see you all. Yeah, Lars Pan, I'm sorry that you're feeling a little bit funky. Um, Makiel, hi. Happy Thursday, it's good to see you. Makiel, been a while. Well, I think he was here yesterday. But uh, Makiel's always a lurky, 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 which is very appreciated as well. <laughs> Mindless, hi, how are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Stream just starting, yeah! You're on time. Derby practice go okay? Honestly, my body is broken. <laughs> it was a rough, it was a rough practice. But, uh, I had fun. I had fun. Uh, let's see if we can get the intro started. You woke up from your nap. Ouchies. Ouchies a bit better today. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. My derby practice was good. I had fun. But... It was a bit rough because we had a... We had like a... Every Wednesday we have like a practice match. And usually we have like... Mm, one jam. So that's like two minutes. One jam for the A team, then a jam for the B team, then a jam for the A team. So kind of you kind of always have like a break. But the B team didn't have enough players, so the A team players also had to play with the B team jams. So it was like nonstop, nonstop playing. And but it was cool. But I, like I'm super, super bruised. <laughs> I got somebody's fingerprints on my arm, and uh, I got a bunch of other. Places I think I can't even find them. I keep finding other spots on my body that I'm like, okay mm. Those are some bruises. Yeah, I hope people don't like don't are like thinking that I'm you know not safe in my house <laughs> It's not that it's derby um, Yeah, I saw that Alex. I saw that That That's exciting. I guess right armory. Hello. Cool armory. Good to see you. <sighs> Have you all been seeing people on Steam playing um, a game called Content Warning? I'm not gonna show too much of it, but because I don't want to spoil anything for me, but. I saw someone else playing Content Warning, and the game looks super fun. It it kind of got me, um, uh, Lethal Company vibes. Um, so I'm deciding that I'm gonna play that, probably with Ian. Maybe we add more people to the party. I'm not sure, but I think with Ian is gonna be good, because Ian and I are always good chemistry. Uh, it blew up overnight, right? Yeah, they yeah it they, it came out on the first, I think, uh, but it looks really fun. So I think I'm gonna be playing that. So there might be like an unscheduled stream where me and Ian go play that. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen too many spoilers yet. Um, so I think it will be fun. Get bumps and knocks is part of life. That's true. That's very true. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope you're doing well. We are playing more of this fantastic game called Case of the Golden Idol. Mm. I was just talking about you, Ian. I was just telling chat of what a big nerd you are. 
Everybody laughed at you. I didn't. I just appreciated you. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm saying here. Smart pricing. Yeah, it's a good it's a good price. Good price. Get, oh, was it for free the first day? Oh, really? I didn't notice that. No one laughed at me. <laughs> You're cool as fuck. I mean, that's true. That's true. Anybody who wears a beanie as well as you do is cool as fuck. He's one of the good Ians with two eyes. I can't be dealing with one eye. <laughs> I was confused by Ian's name because of the second I. I was like, wait, but how do I pronounce it then? But I just started saying Ian and he never corrected me, so I was like, okay, well... I guess I'm doing something right. <laughs> Ian, we have to schedule... we have to schedule this, uh, this play session. I have a bit of hectic days, but I do really kind of want to play it quickly with you. <sighs> My neck hurt. I've avoided- yes! Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's play it soon. You're busy today and no other days. Okay, I, ha I have a stream scheduled for tomorrow. But I'm thinking maybe... I should schedule an extra stream? Or do it be an unscheduled stream? I'm down for stuff like that. Um, anyways, we'll talk about that. We're playing more Case of the Golden Idol. I am loving this game, by the way. It's really cool. Also, I posted a very cute cat picture in Discord. Content warning, it looks chaotic. Yes. Yes. I got up to make tea. Nice! Tea is good. What kind of tea are you getting? Case of the Golden Idol. Here we go. Here we go. Wait. That doesn't sound like tea, though. You got it on the first day. Was it free for reals? Oh, small, maybe you gotta join us. I'll let you know when Ian and I are planning things, and then I'll see if if if, if you want to join as well. Because you're also... You're also... You're also, like, same level of weirdness. <laughs> it's always so fun to play games with you. Made coconut tea. Oh! You're also weird. Like, positively weird. I feel like anytime I game with Small and Ian, like, random weird-ass shit just happens. Because we just... I don't know, it kind of just happens. And it's good. I like that. I like that in people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fun comes to us, exactly. Exactly. I wish I knew it was free. Because now I had to actually spend money to get a gift for Ian and... I'd rather not spend money. Because I'm Dutch. But uh... I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, but I had no idea it was free. Um, okay! Let's play this awesome game. So... Case of the Golden Idol, for those that don't know, it's kind of a deduction game. It's very similar to Return of the Obra Dinn, which is one of my favorite games. Um, and basically, you are in a scene where you can, you, can, you can look at the people who are there, you can talk to, to them, but then like, very limited, and you can look at a bunch of items and you collect words you collect words and with these words you fill in the story of what happened in the situation that you're looking at scottish people are also notoriously cheap are they i didn't know that 
People who aren't weird are boring. Yeah, that's kind of true. Code for totally socially acceptable. <laughs> hey, I like weird people. Are you peeps cheap or just broke? We are cheap. I mean, I'm broke, but Dutch people are cheap. Yes. <laughs> um, so what we have here is the scene of... Uh, this is his house. Uh, this is his waiter. This is his gardener. And he invited these people for a weekend of... I don't know. Banter with the boys. Um, and then somebody died. And we have to figure out who died. I mean, yeah. Who died, but why, and who did it, and all the stuffs. And this is like the... Um, constable. He's the cop. And he's taken everybody's... Uh, um, um, how do you say it? Mm, notes? I don't know what the fucking the word is. I'm not saying I'm cheap, but I'm on special this weekend. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, and we have... This is the location that we are. Testimonies. Thank you so much. I couldn't figure it out. This is the location that we have. Um, we found a bench with some political information. And this is the guy that's dead. Moderate leader Valentine. He's dead. I haven't figured out his first name yet, but I'm sure I can find it quickly. So the guy with the eye patch is a loyalist, and this is... I think this is Lazarus Hertz? Is it? Is it Lazarus or is it... I think it is. I forgot. Yes. Yes. So the story, the story goes, like, at the start... At the start, we have two men who found the golden idol and one pushed the other off of the thing to his death to steal the golden idol. And then we follow the golden idol into his family, basically, and we learn about the family uh, and how the idol kills people and how it goes from one person to another in, in the same family. Um, but it got stolen here. It got stolen here by... What's his name? William Keane? Walter Keane. He stole it. So now it's not in the same family anymore. Um... And he's part of a cult. He's part of a cult here. Um, so we learned about... Yesterday we learned about um, what all the masks mean and what the different types of robes mean. It's like the masks are different houses. So you have the dark hand, you have the water snake, and you have the beast... Beast master, I think? And then the codes are Initiate, Master, or Steward. And we've learned who these people are and... ...who died and stuff. That dog is terrifying. The dog is terrifying. Yeah, that's true. Very terrifying. Um, so... What happened here is that... Um, this guy and this guy stole the idol in the scene I just showed you earlier. Um, and this guy isn't necessarily in this cult, but they found this dude and took his clothes. So he's posing as one of the members. Um, and they were doing a ritual. They were kind of doing a, a dueling ritual, kind of. Um, with one cup of poison, one cup of not poison, and he signaled to him which cup had the poison because um, they are helping each other. And so he killed his rival um, in this duel. And this, 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 this rivalry came because 
the guy that won wanted to wanted to initiate his friend. I'm not sure if that's the right term. Um, but if he won the duel, this guy got to tr got to try out for the for the for the for the cult, and he passed the test. And now he's also an initiate. He's also in the in the cult. Uh, so there's a lot of shady shenanigans going on. And then we had a scene where the same cult people um, were doing... Mm, so there's this thing called the Reborn Griffin, which in this cult means that you're like the chosen one or whatever. Um, but you have to perform a miracle to become the chosen one. To become the, the Griffin Reborn, but no one else is allowed to repeat that miracle. Because if it's if it's if somebody repeats it, um, um if someone repeats the miracle, it's proven that it wasn't magic, but it wasn't a miracle, but mere magic. So this guy with he has the idol. He has the idol in, in, in the staff, it's hidden in here. And he uses the idol to fly, basically. Um, so he used the idol to fly. These people don't know that the idol is in there. So he is like, he's like performed a miracle. And then there was somebody who's dead here, um, who had intel from this guy like, yo, how does he use the staff? And he's like, well, I'm pretty sure he uses the idol like this. So I think if you do this and that, you should be able to also fly. Um, because we learned in history that in multiple years, someone has done a miracle. And it's always been Angus McBain who has repeated the miracle. Proving this person unworthy. He's done it here as well, and he's done it here as well. So he wanted to do it here again, but he didn't figure out in the right way how the idol worked, and he fell to his death. Um, and the idol, I'm trying to think, where was it that we saw all of the settings on the idol? I think it was, I think it was here. Here we learn... Here we learn the different symbols on the idol. So the idol has like, it has like three little... Um, three little compartments where you, it has like a sliding box. And you can select any of these symbols. And it will mean like you increase air, you increase matter or decrease and... With, with these symbols, you can basically set stuff on fire, or phrase it, or or make stuff explode, or stuff like this. So we know what the settings mean, so that's cool. Um, I also really like that if you if you go to the if you go to the scene where this explosion is, you kind of see you still kind of see them explode. I like I like that little detail. Um, also, mm, the, the situation here is that the owner of the idol, who is hiding in here, he ordered a corpse because he thought that the idol could be used to rejuvenate something that has been, that was dead. So he had like a, he had like a rotten apple and he turned it into like a fresh apple. So he's like, well, if I can do it with apples, I might do it with corpses as well. So he ordered a corpse, but what he got was a straw, a scarecrow. And the people who came to deliver it, they actually stole the idol because they're not actually, they weren't actually bringing a corpse. Anyways, so that's how... And those members were, were part of the cult. So that's how the idol gets into the cult. Uh, this guy is now the Griffin Reborn. He's the chosen one. And um, some of these people are also in this next scene. Um, 
that we're now trying to deduce. Um, <laughs> I love the watching stream because this is so awesome, not a game I would be able to play. Yeah, it's, it's so many dead people. Yeah, there's always, there's basically everybody, every scene that we've had, there's somebody dead. Um, have you seen the, the have you seen the, the combusted dude? The guy that, that got on fire? You. They set him on fire. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. Very wild. Um... That's all fine, Alex. That's all fine. Sorry, I got very into the story and just explaining everything. Uh, uh, okay, so we're here. Um, what we learned so far is... Um, okay, so so there's there's some like drugs stuff going on here. So, there's the black poppy seeds, which makes people sleepy and they get like a pink, pink eyes. Um, we see the pink eyes in this guy. And I believe in the gardeners. No, not the gardener. Was it you? Yeah, it was this guy. The butler. What happened is that he invited him. I believe for a drink in the library but he poisoned him because he fell asleep um he fell asleep not knowing what he was doing at the time because he was out and he was awoken by this dude coming in who was also he also came, fell asleep, eventually. But when he came to, he saw that there's this dead guy on the floor. Now, the only person who was here as well is him, so I'm suspecting him. Um, but we see that he is missing a button. And he has in his hand the button. Um... So, you could say that he killed him, but what we've learned is that this guy uh, was standing in this room when he hunched over his sleeping body to grab the button and plant it on him. So he has seen this, uh, but he doesn't speak English very well. So, I'm not sure if he gets the point across, basically. Um, so, some of the things that we still need to figure out is... How was he killed? The man's not breathing and has a huge a vertical wound in his forehead. There is a bloody a boomerang next to his head. It could be that, but it, I feel... It feels kind of weird. It feels as a, like a weird murder weapon. Especially when you have a sword and a scalpel. Um, and a bunch of other stuff hanging here, because the boomerang was hanging here. Like, why did you not use that or that or... You know? Why did you take that? So it could have been... It could have been that this fell. Maybe. Or could it have been that he had it and he threw it and it came back to him and it chucked him in his head? I haven't figured that out yet. Um, also, uh, these are the 12 seals of the Lemurian clans. It is covered in blood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he, he, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's probably murdered by that, but like, it's a weird weapon. If you have a sword here, if you're gonna kill somebody, why do you do it with a, with a, 
with the boomerang, so I'm thinking it might be an accident. Um, but there's six, there's there's eleven seals here, but there should be twelve. And on his body, we have the twelfth seal. And Aloise, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing good. Someone played hangman on the wall to the left. <laughs> this is the um, this is the the map of the thingy. Does the boomerang kill when it falls from such a low height? I would I would say no. I would say no. But what if what if he threw it in this room or or somebody outside threw it or whatever? I don't know. Could be something like that because I think I think like the the boomerang the boomerang abilities of the boomerang, <laughs> right? The, the doing that. I think that's probably um, probably part of the solution here. I didn't think this yesterday, but now I'm thinking like a boomerang is a very specific item. You know? Um, so... Let me let me go over what are the people are saying. So this guy says, "Oh Lord, I didn't expect something like this in our household." So he's the gardener. Um, this is the butler. This is such a mess. However, we will clean the blood out of the rug. This is the guy whose mansion this is. Ha, Leopold, your plan to frame two. Two is the guy here. He's a prince is sublime, but your missing button is more than enough proof that you did it, Constable. Constable, please escort the man out. So he says that it's him who did it. And he says, James, this is preposterous. You know damn well that he has killed that Lem... He was killed by the Lemurian savage. So he doesn't like him. What does his note say? Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's the invitation to come here. Join me for a leisurely weekend. So that's what they're doing right now. Um, and you got red eyes. Then we have this guy. This is outrageous. I thought you were an honorable man, Leopold. So that's the guy next to him. Not some Ag Agitanian agent trying to sabotage our friendly relations with Lemuria and provoke a conflict. Okay. Then there's this dude. He stole his life just like that. The doctor is a smart man since he saw through his lies. Dear friend, at one of the balls, you said that you would love to meet someone actually interesting. I'm having a weekend of drinks at my manor and the prince from the 11th clan of Lemuria will be joining us. Um, Please do us the honor of your company too. So now I'm thinking that... The seal that he has is the 11th? Because I was thinking this would be the 12th. Since there's a lot of stuff going on on this seal. Anyways, he says, Hmm, I hope the host didn't notice me when, I was, when he was leaning over the sleeping eye patch gentleman. So he was, he was looking through this glass. I'm thinking this is glass, I'm not sure. When he took the, bo the, the button off of this guy's coat. Spicy smelling ornamental box. War club. Uh, what's this? Dear Prince, I heard that you got invited to a party by the director of the Seven Seas Company himself. I know you hate associating with these invaders and thieves, but this might just be the opportunity that we seek to reclaim our honor. Maybe... Maybe he took the boomerang, because this is Lemurian stuff, right? Maybe he's taking this home. Uh, dear Prince, as you know, I'm a great aficionado of Lemurian culture. It would be my pleasure to invite a member of the Ptu clan to spend a leisurely weekend at my estate with some of my our own political dignitaries. So that's how he was invited. And he has... Spicy smelling ornamental box. So that could be... Um, one of these is spicy, right? Isn't it? 
Spotty onion. Illusion of unity with the universe. Increases appetite hiccups. Uh, hyper concentration on one thing. Loss of perception of time. Rapid blinking. Uh, search of energy. Vocalization of all your thoughts. Twitching aggression. Hmm. I'm not seeing any of these things linked to the spiciness in his box. But there was spicy tea over here. Was it here? No, here. Two cups of spicy smelling tea. One is almost empty, the other is untouched. Um, I need to I need to re recall who was drinking this because I think it might have been, um, I think it might have been the this guy, which is interesting because he got like pink eyes and he was also knocked out uh, then we have the constable who says oh god believe me my lord I do not feel comfortable arresting a prime ministerial candidate but I must ask you to follow me so he's uh, aiming at him um, and this guy's dead obviously he has a note that says listen apologies for shout for the shouting match yesterday let's continue our discussion at noon Leo. That's this guy. Could be planted on him, though. Uh, elections are over, so let's uphold tradition and have leisurely weekend. So who won the elections? Uh, the New Order Party. So that is him? Um, is he here? He isn't here, though. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Um, rose bushes, chrysanthemum bushes. We read something about the chrysanthemum, didn't we? The mum. Unfinished croquet. Yes. Uh, so let's look at the statements. Hey, Torchy! So many cute people, yeah. Agreed. The statements. Leopold claims that he had a glass of sherry with James in the library and became drowsy. As he was falling asleep, he saw the Lemurian observing him through the glass door. Woke up, found the butler on the floor, asleep. Woke up the butler, entered the salon and found the body. Upon expecting the weapon, deduced that the Lemurian is the murderer. He deduced it. Instructed the butler to raise alarm. Okay. Gideon. Who is Gideon again? Played croquet with Urgin in the morning. They got bored and went to drink tea in the tea house. Urgin drew his attention to the interesting design of the chess house. Saw Lord Alistair Koch lecture the butler. Okay. Saw Master Turner come to the chess house and send the butler away, just as Ergin was remarked on remarking on the beauty of the chess house. Um, okay, so some of the guests were somebody was uh, lecturing the butler, and then he sent the butler inside. Okay. Uh, saw Lord Alistair leave the chess house and return shortly afterwards. Alistair Koch. Who's Alistair Koch again? This guy. Okay. He has very big eyes. Hi there, deductionists. I'm doing my best. How are you doing? Uh, this is the, the Lemurian prince. Slightly difficult to understand what he says, potentially because he has challenges with our language, claims that everything Young Master Bell says is absolutely correct. 
And I'm thinking that this is... Bell? Yeah, I'm thinking that's Bell. But I don't know that yet. Is it Augustus? It could be Augustus or Gideon, because I don't know who, who that is yet. Uh, your book? James, says him. You drank a glass of sour sherry with Blanchard in the library in the morning. Uh, that's uh, Leopold. Then went to the chest house where he found Lord Alistair and the butler. He ordered the butler to clean up the library and get rid of the bad sherry. Um, but the sherry was probably poisoned. Spent the rest of the time playing chess with Alistair until the alarm was raised. As the master of the house, he led the interrogation of the suspects. Oh. Alistair claims that in the morning practice chess at the chess house educated the butler on his lack of military training. Okay. Sometime in the afternoon, Dr. D Turner arrived and sent the butler away. They played together and he was very close to winning when the alarm was raised. Okay. That was Alistair? Gideon? I don't know who, who Alistair and Gideon are. I'm not sure which of the two guys it is, but I'll probably figure it out. Uh, Podrick served Lord Alistair in the chest house in the morning. His master arrived and instructed him to dispose of the spoiled sherry um, uh, that he and Lord Leopold drank and then go to assist Mr. Spade in the garden. On entering the library, to take away the glasses, he found Leopold asleep. Suddenly, he was overcome by dizziness and fainted due to his weak heart. So I'm thinking that um, there were two glasses of sherry. One was drank, the other wasn't. So I'm thinking he wants to take the sherry away. What if he drank it? Lack of military training. Maybe he likes drinking. Could that be something? Suddenly overcome by dizziness and faint to do to his weak heart. Was woken by Lord Leopold and instructed to raise the alarm. Then saw the disease laying in the salon. Good morning, Luna! How are you doing? Good to see you. Happy Thursday. William claims that he planted and pruned all morning by the chrysanthemum bush. So that's like down here. Saw the young gentleman and the foreigner leave the croquet and go behind the manor. Young gentleman. I'm doing good. I'm also tired, but I'm doing good. In the afternoon, moved to the rose bush. From there, saw Lord Augustus leave the fountain at around noon. Drink it and die. Yeah, well, fall asleep in this case, but yeah. Continue his work on the roses until the alarm was raised by Mr. Hill. He saw Lord Augustus leave the fountain at around noon. I feel like I need to... I feel like I need to draw this. And then put timestamps everywhere. To get a good view of this, but maybe is there some help here? No. Um. Mm, 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 mm. So let's uh, let's 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 deduce who is Augustus and who is Gideon. Augustus and Gideon. Um. Where do we read about them? 
read about them in, in his papers, but maybe somewhere else as well. Dear friend. I think I saw somebody, the old, old man Augustus. One of the notes said that. Here. Good old Augustus. So this isn't Augustus. This has to be Augustus then. Yeah. And that will put this guy at being Gideon. Probably. Augustus. Mm, yeah, so I'm saying that this guy is Gideon. Yes. Okay. The victim is Augustus Valentine. The boomerang is probably the weapon. The salon is where he was murdered. Body was found by Leopold Blanchard. Okay, that's good. Morning, Snark. How you doing? Okay, we got we got that part. That's good. Location of each suspect when the body was found. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. Um. So, he was found first by Leopold, the loyalist. Um, so, he was in the salon, because he found the body. Um, at that moment, the butler was still in the library, because he was still knocked out. Isn't that weird? Hold up, isn't that weird? He is knocked out and poisoned in the library. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> he... Did he see him there? I think so. <coughs> Upon entering the library to take away the glasses, found Lord Leopold asleep. Suddenly was overcome by dizziness and fainted. Was awoken by Lord Leopold and instructed to raise the alarm. So, so here Lord Leopold already has seen the dead body. That's kind of odd. So Lord Leopold is sleeping here. He comes in here, sees him sleeping, takes away the glasses falls asleep himself. He wakes up. Finds the body. And then goes back into the library to wake up the butler to sound the alarm. Like, that's weird. That's odd. That's odd? Because I wasn't suspecting him. Let, let's just say it like that. Um, I wasn't suspecting him because of the because he planted the button in his hand. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so the butler was in the library. The gardener, when the body was found, the gardener was, I think, with the roses or something. Gardener, gardener, gardener. Continue work on his ro on the roses until the alarm was raised. Okay. So he was then in the garden flower beds. Do we call that flower beds? I think. Gardener flower beds. Okay. I like that they they kind of break up the main story here on the left. It's kind of broken up in smaller pieces. So it's easier to digest. So these these clues kind of make you think like, okay, so this person was there when that happened. 
and then you will be able to fill this in. I like I like the way that they do it. Um, <clears throat> so, um, Alistair was playing chess. Alistair is playing chess. So that is the general, I think. Yeah, the general is playing chess. Chess house. With who was he playing? With Dr. Turner. That's the doctor. Chess house. Doctor. Okay. Um, Gideon. So Lord Alistair leave the chess house and return shortly afterwards. So Master Turner, come to the chess house. Send the butler away. Just as Ergin was remarking on the beauty of the chess house, saw so Lord Alistair leave the chess house and return shortly afterwards. That's weird. Cause that's him. So he was... He was away for a while. He was away for a bit. But when the body was found, he was at the chess house. Um, hmm? um, spend the rest of the time playing chess with Alistair. Everything Master Bell says is absolutely correct, is what they're saying. Uh, which is Gideon. So it doesn't say that Ergin was at the chess house at the end, but I'm gonna assume he was. Um... Hmm. So... Ergin He saw I hope the host didn't notice me when he was leaning over the sleeping eye patch gentleman. Where was he then? Was he in this room or did he look in? Did he look in? Playing croquet? Was he playing croquet? <laughs> um, Gideon. Play croquet with Ergin in the morning. That's when he saw it, probably. That's when he saw it. In the morning. Yeah. So he was never in the house. Um, but I'm gonna say that you were at the chess house at the time the body was found. Uh, chess house. Prince. But I'm guessing also young man. Uh, Gideon. Uh, they got bored and went to drink tea in the tea house. Drew his design, attention into the design of the chess house. Saw this and that. Um, saw Master Turner come to the chess house and send the butler away. They, they, it didn't say that he was at the chess house. Where is the... 
Where is the chess house? Okay, you can see that from a distance. You can see that from a distance, so he doesn't need to be in the chess house. So they were drinking tea. That's why the tea is spicy, because of his, his little box of stuff. And then they saw the stuff over here. And he's talking about the interesting design of the chess house. Like, multiple times it's mentioned. It looks like a pawn to me, but... So I'm gonna say that they were still in the tea house, actually. Uh, yeah, 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 I know it's not right. Because you are also in the tea house. Yeah, nice! Okay. Okay, that's awesome. That is awesome. So... Um... Okay, 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 okay. Let me drag some stuff out here. It's probably, most of it's right, but I want to kind of start over here. I'll reset this one. Okay. Okay, so what I know is he planted something on him to frame him, and I'm thinking it's the button. He planted the button on him to frame um, Leopold. Um... In the salon around noon, James Turner killed August Valentine. Not entirely sure of this, but because he could have done it himself, but that, no, 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 no. He planted the thing. That's so. This is this, okay. This has to be pretty sure. Um. Meanwhile, in the library. Um, I want to say, meanwhile in the library, James Turner drugged Leopold and I want to say, and stole a Lemurian seal. But... The seal is on... Ergin's body. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. What if... No, fuck. I was thinking, like, what if... What if Ergen and Augustus were in the salon, stealing stuff? 
But it's not true because he was always outside, so he he wasn't inside. No. Um. Provoked. Um, early in the morning. So, so what time? So the library, I thought it also happened around noon. Um, oh yeah, the sherry's in the morning. The sherry is in the morning. Anything else that's in the morning? Croquet is in the morning? Um, chess. in the morning so I want to say early in the morning um, James Turner drugged uh, Leopold Blanchard hey gear thank you for the lurk uh, drug Blanchard in the library and And stole? Stole a button? Because he stole the button. Because he planted it here. Meanwhile... I'm also kind of thinking like what was he, what was what was the dead guy doing in the salon when he died Meanwhile <sighs> really bad at stardew fishing same yeah that's hard Um Um Podrick Surflors uh, Spose Spot Sherry I was thinking, like, what if he drank stuff here, but we don't know that. What are you fishing? Success. An old PC. <laughs> Fucking Manta Ray, nice. Cyra got a PC.
Okay, okay, okay. So we know that... Was it Alistair? So Lord Alistair leave the chest house and return shortly afterwards. So Alistair... Was up to something. Meanwhile, in the salon... I'm not sure about this. What if... What if he did it? Alistair Koch, what, what, does, what does he have something on him? No, he only has a sword and the ring. He has very big eyes, and I'm not sure if he has big eyes because he has been into the this stuff. Loss of perception of time. What if he drugged himself? <laughs> what if this is... Meanwhile in the salon, Alistair drugged Alistair. He did some mushrooms. <laughs> uh, but w don't we see him? We see him in the chapter before. He has the same big eyes here, so I don't think... I don't think he's drugged. <laughs> Maybe not. Gary caught a rock lobster? I thought, uh, I thought at first you said rock. End of sentence. <laughs> I'm watching something now where there's also an Alistair up to something. Ooh, shady Alistair. <sighs> Alistair... Um. Wait. Was he drugged? No, no way to tell. Is there? Aggression. Red berry. God damn. God damn. Um. So he has definitely stolen this. But it could have been like yesterday that he did that, or maybe he's gotten it as a gift. I don't know. Because he used to be here. Jesus! I'm running in circles in my brain. Alistair Koch. Hmm. James Turner. But this isn't meanwhile. Because the Koch situation is when James Turner is already outside. So that that's not meanwhile. Uh, meanwhile in the... Meanwhile in the tea house... The prince and the young man... 
prints. Drugged. Gideon Bell. And stole. Oh, well, I don't hate that idea. I don't hate that idea. Ergimp 2. Drugged Gideon Bell. And stole Lemurian Seal. From the library. From the from the salon. Is that it? Oh. Mm. Because I'm thinking about the... Maybe it's the other way around, but... Everything Young Master Bell says is absolutely correct. Because what if... What if... What if he is drugged and he doesn't remember anything? Could that be? I don't I, I don't know, that's not true because there's 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 less than two two or fewer slots are incorrect. So it's not that. Um stole a Lemurian seal from the salon. This is tough. Um. Lemurian seal. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing that's missing because he has a club on him as well. There is a club here too. But he, are, he... I don't think he stole the club. He stole the seal, probably. Does anybody know the... Uh, can, can somebody point me in the right direction? Somehow? Without... Point blank saying well you can say like okay this part you're doing wrong so something here isn't right it's probably this situation i'm thinking left yeah um mm. okay. There's also the note like story of for the words Apologies for the shouting match yesterday. Let's continue our discussion at noon. Leo. That's fine. That's fine, mindless. Don't worry about it. Hmm. You got this, yeah. Okay, cool. See that Gideon is blinking rapidly? 
Is he? Hold up. Oh! He is blinking rapidly. He is drugged. I was, I was, I was literally saying that. I was literally saying that he was drugged, but I guess maybe not by two. Oh, good point. I didn't see the blinking. Wow. So, so it's true. Loss of perception of time. Yeah, exactly. Hyper concentration on one thing. The freaking Jess house. Got bored, went to drink tea in the tea house. Then he wasn't bored anymore. Interesting design of the chess house. It was focused on the chess house. He was drugged. It's good to see you, Lily. Hope you're doing good. God damn, that's it. But, okay. He was focused on the fucking chess house like a nerd. Okay, so... Drug Gideon Bell. No, not... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, drug Gideon Bell. But... Uh, where and how was he drugged? Croquet. Tea house. That's what I was saying, right? Meanwhile, in the tea house... Gideon Bell drugged Gideon Bell. Did he do it himself? Hot summer. Okay, um... That technically means... That means that it could be Ergin who killed. Because now Gideon's story is not true anymore. Well... Gideon, what are you saying? Solar has to leave the chest house and return shortly afterwards. So this could... This will be true, but there's no perception of time, so we don't know when this happened, I think. So Master Turner come to the chess house and sent the butler away. Just as Ergen was remarking on the beauty of the chess house. Uh, Alistair, the, yeah. Okay. Oof. This game is really tough, yo. Wow. Okay. Tea house. Chess house. Hmm. Loss of perception of time, rapid blinking. It was also so that one of the tea, one of the teas wasn't drank, and that's why I thought like it must be Ptu that's poisoned the other guy. Okay, uh, uh, have I? I did that. What if it's another another information that's not right? So this could be right. 
James Turner killed. So what if it was Alistair Koch? The thing is though, Alistair Koch, ooh, ooh, Alistair Koch, it's Alistair Koch that did it. Because Alistair met James before going to the salon. So James gave the button to Alistair and said, plant it on the body. Okay, I think maybe we got it. <gasps> Thank you for helping me, Lily. It is fun, but it is very hard. The chapter before this, I was also stuck on one, one tiny detail. Ooh, Brotherhood members Alistair and James plotted to turn the ruling moderate and loyalist parties against each other. Um, over the course of the weekend, at James's manor, Alistair murdered the moderate leader and James framed the loyalist leader. Wow, huge! Thank you for telling me that one detail. I had already figured it out, but this was like... I know now for sure that he's drugged. Because I hadn't seen that part yet. You've proven that I can trust you. Who says that? Oh, you. Here's the Brotherhood's artifact that I removed from Traitor Keen. Oh, let me educate you how it works. Traitor Keen. I said it to take heat from this cup of water. Then I change the symbols and use the idol to give that heat to something else. There's much more that the idol can do. Traitor Keen, wait. Ah, because in this, in this chapter, this is Keen, right? Is it? Yeah. Okay. So Keen. So in this idol, in this thing is the idol, it's hidden. And it's allowing him to fly, but he has told this guy how to use it, but he didn't clearly, didn't entirely know it. So he, he betrayed him by telling him it's the cane that can fly. Right. This music was very nice, by the way. Okay, so that's this chapter. Fuck. We're doing well. Sometimes you see something in the background that makes it clear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Fluff Feather, hi! How you doing? I hope you're doing good. I hope your week has been nice. The triumph of order. So I think these are the last two ch chapters, but I also have the DLC. Okay, what do we have here? Um by hello. Alex redeemed pronouns, please, people if you want to share your pronouns. Feel free to do so. Um it would prevent us misgendering each other. My pronouns are they them, but I think you all know. Um exhausted from work. Oh shit. Are you still working? I hope you have some time to chill soon. Thank you for sharing. Um, so for those that just tuned in that don't know what the game is about, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a story background thingy. Um, in over here, um, these two men found treasure. Among it was the golden idol. One man killed the other so he could take away the golden idol and keep it for himself. Uh, the golden idol has... Um, it has like uh, scrollable thingies, like uh, symbols on the back. Uh, and you can set it to different settings and it will do different things. 
for instance, it will explode something or it will set something on fire or stuff like this. And um, the first couple of chapters are um, how this man dies and then somebody else in the family inherits the, uh, the idol. And then um, it gets stolen by somebody else. Um, and in the meantime, some people get killed. Um, here, this guy has stolen it. Stolen the idol from this from this family, basically. Um, he's part of a cult. Um, he... He had somebody else join the cult. Who then used the golden idol to... Um, um, prove to the cult that he's the chosen one, basically. Uh, it was rigged. Um... But in doing... So he, he betrayed him in this in this chapter by telling somebody else about the idol, basically. And here we meet the political parties who are part of the cults. Um, and well, we just had the scene that we just had. The idol isn't in this scene though, is it? It isn't. It's j this is just a chapter for the backstory, I guess. Yeah. So now... What do we have here? This is the... Um, this is like the, the notary, I want to say, who handled the inheritance of the idol a couple of years back. Um, I think we've seen this man before, but I'm not sure. Could be John, I'm not sure. He looks like John. It's a guy being carried out. Is that a guy? Like, it seems a bit small, but... Oh, it is. The man's not breathing. No apparent wounds. So for those who just tuned in and you don't know the game, if you are interested in it, pay attention to the things we're seeing and you can help me out. I, will, I allow people to help me Unless they, like, know the game themselves. Prince of Dusk. This is a note on this body. Prince of Dusk. Like night, I am dark and full of terror. I do not fear love. Do not make that error. When you know my name, just look at my face. Prince of Dusk. Okay. Um, one of the things that supposedly this idol can do is resurrect people. We haven't had it tested yet, but that's that's a theory uh, that's going on. That's going on. Uh, were there any words in this note that I can? No. Okay. Uh, what's this? Remember the third virtue. I don't. And I don't know what I what I feel about this. How I feel about this. Remember the second virtue. Sleeping on the job. Is a virtue a good thing or a bad thing? Poor bugger. I've never seen such merits removed in the tribunal. Some mistakes are very costly. costly. So you find words, you can click them, and then they will come here, and then later you feel you feel those words into the story. Okay. Poor bugger. Oh, it's you! This is David Goran. Who is a little bit of a shady dude. Thanks for sharing, uh, Luna. I appreciate that. Getting ready? I hope you have a good day. An Albion Frank banknote. Okay. David Goran. Enforcer of the Order Party. You anxious? What are you gonna be doing? Do you have something fun or something not fun going on? I hope it goes well for you either way. <laughs> 
History of infraction and obedience. Had a secret compartment in his office. Oh, going to work. It's not fun that work is making you anxious. Hmm. I hope it's gonna be an okay day. A secret compartment in his office locker denied the existence of the secret compartments. Negative points. Plus, loyal servers in low ranking position to the order party. Plus 10 merits. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Uh, this guy, Nicholas Maker. Nicholas, I'll wager you feel the new regime rewards your diligence now. So tell me why I saw you spend more than three shillings on new clothes after I asked you to lend me money and you said you had none to spare. I suggest you lend me some now, unless you want me to write up an official report about Fourth Virtue Breach, your beloved brother. Okay. It's a thing of beauty to see order prevail. If it were not against the first virtue, I would feel very happy. Okay. Nicholas Maker. Record keeper of the order party. History of infraction and obedience labeled a protocol as being on Thursday, even though it was Wednesday. He gets a minus point for that? Wait. Took a double length lunch break in the office. Okay, somebody does not like him because he got minus six points for these two things. While the other dude is having secret compartments and gets like one point taken away for it. Okay, that's interesting. So he's being judged harsher than he is. Weekly order party of People's Tribunal number 42. What a scumbag! Six culprits are brought to the tribunal. It's open at 12. 12.15. Each culprit's charges are evaluated and merit changes are calculated. And then, three hours later, the merit exaction starts. I don't know what exaction means. Um, probably like fulfillment of the sentence or whatever. <clears throat> maybe they <clears throat> maybe they killed him. Jeez. Um, I felt it in my bones that I <clears throat> should have drunk less. Jeez, what's with my voice? <coughs> Now we pour souls experience God's wrath. Hmm. This tribunal is a farce. They spread lies that my pure love is merely lust. What do they know about true art? Such a relief that they decided not to push any fashion charges. Because he's wearing red, probably. I hope the process is not painful. Maybe you're not allowed to wear colorful clothes? Okay, so virtues are like the laws, I guess. Uh, okay, and we can go up here. Oh! We have the chosen one's crown. Ooh! All the books? This is uh, James? Right? That's music to my ears, Alistair, but do control your emotions. We as arbiters of order must never violate the first virtue. Sorry, what are you saying then? What are you insinuating, James? I would never breach the fourth virtue. You know damn well that I keep no secrets. Bunch of Albion Frank banknotes. History of infraction and obedience. Drank a full bottle of brandy at a picnic. He's 12 points. 
kept the book Legacy of the Rose Dynasty in his study. Oh shit. Loyal service to the order party, high ranking position, 20 merits. Because he's in high rank, he gets more points, I guess. Okay, so he got 8 points deducted. Deduced. Deducted. For these two points. Okay. Ah, so we can... We're probably gonna be... We're probably gonna be learning about the... Uh, the rules and like the weight of them, I guess. Oh, interesting. Dear Dr. Turner, I must regretfully inform you that during your absence from party business, your senior assistant Daniel has demonstrated extreme untidiness and thus breached one of the virtues. Junior assistant Toby. Okay, okay. Alright. What are you insinuating? Uh, I saw that already. Got a bunch of money as well. Okay, what about you? Slapped a surgeon, sergeant in anger. Listened to marching music in his manner. And he got nine points deduced for this. Deducted. Jesus! No, is it dedu it's de deducted, I think. I don't know English, Jesus. Uh, he's also high high ranking position. 11 points. Dear Arbiter Koch, I am writing you to inform you that our regiment's colonel has was seen with another officer's wife in a potentially intimate situation. We implore you to send agents to investigate this potential of flouting of the first virtue. That could be the guy down below. So I'm thinking that these are the people who are being put to justice, I think. Uh, and this is Fangor Quinn. Okay, so we're learning... Oh, Gideon Bell is here as well. Fangor Quinn. Claimed he has no wife, has painted and depicted a naked person in his house, broke his wife's favorite teapot in anger, was observed spending a night with the neighbor's wife. Can I click the photo? No. Okay. Walter Keane. Flirted three times with different married women during the party convention. Wore ridiculous headgear, headgear at five public events. Claimed he had not betrayed High Arbiter Lazarus during his ritual of ascendance. Well, he did, though. Expelled. Lothar. Oh. Held a dinner party a few years ago where he offered large amounts of wine for his guests. So think alcohol is against the law. Got angry during the questioning and shouting at the high arbiter and sh uh, shouted at the high arbiter. Revealed the whereabouts of his hiding fugitive dissident's daughter Mary and her husband Peter. Okay, got 15 points for that. Feels like a lot of points. Josh Bailey. Jin. Left his work at Tannery early, drank excessive amounts of gin at Scrawny Cat, drank excessive amounts of rum at the Old Oak, approached a married woman with an indecent offer, denied four times during questioning that he had done these acts. Where's Webb? Um, was not held, has not held down a job since the new regime. Evaluated at 60 instances of non-work. Claims he works in the in his castle, helping his servants to clean it. Possesses 15 books. Kept in his private library. Okay, so books are a no-go. Express willingness to donate his castle to the party. 
200 merits. Wow. Gideon Bell. Wears an outrageous hairstyle. He has blue hair. Broke down in tears ten, 10 times during the questioning. Has refused to start working. Evaluated at five instances of job skipping. Rejected the High Arbiter's request that he share information on a secret entrance to the castle of his cousin, the Sovereign. And we can also go here. The Four Maxims of Virtue. Okay. That's the idol. That's Lazarus. Lazarus hurts. Silence. You'll perform your function as much as required. It is paramount to ensure order in our new society. Uh, and this says... It is set to... Increase... Increase matter, but I don't know this symbol yet. Um, it's also used in the resurrection spell. Wait, this is the resurrection spell. Hold up. This is the resurrect. Um, and... It seems to have been used, because if it's um, if it's a blue symbol and you want to use it, it needs to have this symbol but with a dot here. And after it's been used, it will go to red. And when it's red, you need this symbol. So I think it has been used already to resurrect something. Huh. Interesting. Remember the second virtue. Store confiscated objects and evidence according to the virtue breached. And then there's here the four boxes. Brandy. Opium. Invoice. Butter. Okay. Don't know what virtue this broke, but we'll figure it out. Um, okay, portrait. He has a portrait of himself, I'm guessing. <laughs> okay, love that. A violin. So this is like arts, right? Ah, there was a guy saying like, what What do you even know about arts? And it's probably about this thing. Having books. Is the, for the fourth one, I think. Observe the four virtues to avoid losing merits. My pen. Here. Um. I'm trying to draw wings. It's not it's not looking great. And that's like a sun or a fire or a star. And an eye. Okay. In all truth, Lord High Arbiter, I would prefer storing no more than this. Oh, it's him. 
Since the year 1792, when it gained a majority... Nice fish you got there. A majority in parliament and liberated the government from a multi-party chaos. The order party has worked hard to improve society. Despite the vast popular support for the party, His Majesty refuses to acknowledge the authority of party's tribunal. I arbiter Lazarus Hurst has announced that in two months the party and its supporters will participate in a peaceful march to the King's Curran's residence to demonstrate their virtue of moderation. Moderation. Okay. Okay, writing it down. I'm honored to help the party upkeep the four of vir virtues. I only hope sitting here all day doesn't count as sloth. Yeah, so I think sloth is the one where you do nothing. Like you don't work. What's he doing with his hands? Uh, there are worse jobs than this one, and thank god tobacco is not considered an indulgence. A bit boring though, too bad literature is forbidden. Indulgence? So that's the- that's- that has to be number one. With the alcohol and stuff. That's locked. So, this should be indulgence, I think. Or moderation. It can also be moderation. Uh, so... Okay, alcohol, opium, and the second one has a letter, it has an invoice. This math is wrong. Wrong math. Um. Three. Arts. Music. Being vain, maybe, as well. And the fourth one is books. At least something with books. Okay. Literature. Kid smokes. Um, claimed he let. Okay, so I'm thinking the the wrong math might be considered a lie. So this is art. Claimed he had no wife, so he's lying. Which is then the second second virtue, maybe. Flirted three times with different women. Indulgence. Wore ridiculous headgear, which is then arts and stuff. Claimed he had not betrayed. Lazarus, that's lying. Uh, indulgence. 
flying. Uh, let's say extravagant clothing. Held a party a few years ago where he's offered large amounts of wine. He offered, got angry. So I don't know what that is. It could be indulgence, but I'm not sure. Getting angry. Left work at the tannery early, so that's being lazy. I don't know where that should be. Drinking. Approached a married woman with an indecent offer. Denied four times during questioning that he had done these acts. It's not held down a job, so, so no work. Uh, claims he works in the castle, helping his servants clean it. That could be a lie. Could be lazy. Could be... Well, it's not lazy. Possess books. Hairstyle. Crying. So, I guess emotion. Because angry is bad, crying is bad. Uh, no work. Rejected the request that he share information on secret uh, entrance. Okay. Music to my ears. Do not control. Do control your emotions. Never violate the worst of virtue. That's emotions. Okay, first virtue. Good, good, good. Uh, regretfully inform you that during your absence from party business, your senior has demonstrated extreme untidiness. Okay. Drank brandy, kept a book. Okay, that's his bad stuff. Never breach the fourth of virtue. Wait, you're saying the fourth? Control your emotions. We must never violate the first of virtue. I would never breach the fourth virtue. You know damn well that I keep no secrets. Okay, secrets. Okay, cool. Slap the sergeant in anger, emotion, listen to music, yep. Potential flouting of the first virtue. So I guess like, uh, how you say it, like, intimacy outside of being wed? I guess. Thank you, Lars Fan, for saying that on YouTube. I appreciate it. Okay, go down. Second virtue. Slacking. Non-work. I guess. Third virtue, art, music, extravagant clothes. Sloth, yeah. Okay. Um... Oh, I see. They, with this idol, I think, killed this man. Because it's not set to... It's not set to... Resurrect. I think it's set to the opposite. 
Did you have a nice little nap? I think I think they killed him with the um, with the idol. Prince of Dusk, like the night, I am dark, full of terror. Do not fear love. I'm gonna make that error. When you know my name, look for my face. Weird. It was not a sentence. I think it was a sentence. And the sentence is that they killed him with the... That's, that's what I'm thinking. They, sensen, they sentenced him to die with the, by idol, maybe? I don't know. Just take it easy, Larsa Band, please. Don't ask too much of yourself. Poor bugger. I never seen such merit removed in the tribunal. Some mistakes are very costly. Has secret compartment in his off uh, office locker. A secret. Denied existence of it. Secret. So the secrets uh, count as one point. Right? Denied. Wait. Deny. Lying is... Oh, okay. So both count as one point then. I guess? Okay. Um, it's a thing of beauty to see or to prevail. Were, if it were not against the first virtue, I would feel very happy. Yeah, you can't even feel happy on the first virtue. Uh, label the protocols being on Thursday, even though it was Wednesday. That's the second... <coughs> that's the second virtue. Took a double length lunch break in the office. That's also the second one, but he gets judged harsher. He gets judged three points per thing. Truth and sloth. Um... I had Sloth as the same one. I had I have I have Sloth and Lying both on number two. Hmm, so I'm doing something wrong then. Um Yeah, so that's the wrong math. Um, so wrong math is number two. Which is lying. Or mistakes. Um, arts and stuff. Uh, books, secrets, literature. Um... Sitting here, sloth. Um, tobacco isn't indulgence. Literature is forbidden. That's that's time.
Um... Control your emotions. First virtue. Secrets. Fourth virtue. Fourth virtue. Oh. Oh, first virtue is also... Intimacy with another person's wife, I guess? Cheating? Uh, so we have this confirmed, we have this con confirmed. That confirmed. Untidiness. Okay. Claimed he had no wife. He was lying. I think that's the second virtue. But I'm not sure. Uh, arts and stuff. Third virtue. Anger. First virtue. This is also first virtue. First virtue. Third virtue. Uh, claimed he hadn't betrayed. That's lying. So that should be the second one. Held a dinner party, a lot of wine, virtue one, got angry, virtue one. Uh, left his work uh, early, slacking, drank, drank, virtue one, denied four times during questioning that he had done these acts, lying. Not held down a job since the new regime. Non-work. Claims he works in a castle. Helping his servants. Um... Okay. I'm wondering, like, is this considered a lie or is it considered maybe like doing work below your status? Is that books? Hey, Amron! Hairstyle, crying, refuse to start working, rejected information on secret entrance. Okay. Uh, then we have here. I felt it in my bones. I should have drank less. Lies and secrets are a different sin. Um, I mean, I mean, I said, I said. Okay, so maybe it's not lying, but it's so there's there's two instances where there is the wrong the wrong information that's been shared. But it could be accidental. So there was the wrong math and somebody wrote down Wednesday instead of Thursday or something. 
Um, and I wrote it down as lying. But it could be considered just doing your job poorly. That's probably it. So it won't be lying on number two. Poor work. Yeah. And then number four could be maybe lying. I'll add a question mark. I don't think so, Evron. Well, I, not that I know. Okay, so he has been drinking. Tribunals of farce, they spread lies that my pure love is merely lust. So it's lust. And what did they even know, know about true art? Yeah, yeah. Such a relief they decided not to push any fashion charges. Okay. Oh, the process is not painful. Um, poor work, non-work, sloth. Fashion, arts, music. Okay. Uh, so then it would be sloth. Took a double length lunch break. So this is both sloth then. So that's three points. Ah, okay. Yeah. GG's. Um, secret compartments. Denied. Two points. Got it, got it, got it. And these don't have a bookie, right? No, they don't. Okay, so let's look at this. I think we know a lot now. The first virtue is indulgence. Um, the third, the mm, okay, 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 vulgar. Vulgar? Josh? Indulgence is a bad thing. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excessive indulgence. Sorry. Thank you. Um, fashion falls under the third one. Lust falls under the first one. Art falls under the third one. And literature falls under the fourth one. Um, truth. Then the fourth one's truth. Right? Uh, lies. Oh, all lies will be punished. Right. Vulgar fashion art. Oh. The first one is moderation, is what I'm thinking. Emotions? Yeah. It's so good, Larzaban. It's so good. Second virtue is... Um, I guess we call it sloth then. No, you wouldn't call it sloth, would you? Sloth it Is it sloth or is it at work? Cat sneezing. At work. Untidiness. I see secrets. We do we put it here. Uh, untidiness. Music. Oh, it's at work. Um, beauty? Beauty? At work, sloth will be punished, but that that is that, that is that a good sentence? Oh wait, you should be there actually. It is? Okay. I do, I guess I don't understand the word sloth then. Um If you're lazy at work, you should be punished. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 
slowness. Right. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, what does merit mean? Can you do one for merit, maybe? Because I'm thinking maybe this should be merit, but I'm not sure. So I don't know what it means. Third virtue is... A claim to commendation or reward. Okay. The point system. Oh shit, you're right. Thank you. Mistakes. Diligence. Diligence? Is it diligence? I know the sentence, you're doing your due diligence, so I think diligence is this word. Sorry, my English, sometimes I, I miss certain words. Mm. And a third virtue, then. I might have missed... Actually, why are you here? Mistakes. <laughs> Fashion, art, music. I've been mixing them up. No, I've been mixing them up. Um, maybe this is moderation, though. No, because excessive and moderation that works with each other. Vulgar. So it has to be the opposite of vulgar, I think. Um... It could be beauty. <gasps> yes, Emron! Yes, you are. Got him. Okay, so points. Uh, this will be minus three points. This will be minus one point. So then I'm thinking this is two and that's four. I'm assuming here. Because it would make sense. Okay. Well, we know one and four. Uh, we know, sorry. We know two and four. We know these two. So we'll look at, we'll look at the others. Um... Oh, and I'm also... Largest merit deduction in all uh, history to execute his punishments. The idol was used on him. And he lost that many merit and died. Yeah, that one. <laughs> it's a perfect emote. Okay. Mm -hmm. Merits have passed. Merits? Years. Years have passed. Okay, so the guy who died, we need to find out his name. Um, and I'm thinking it's probably one of the books up here. Um, uh, he doesn't have a book on him. Loyal service in low-ranking position to the order party, plus 10 merits. So he's an enforcer of the order, order so that's a low rank. And there was somebody here who also received points. Oh, so I need to figure out how much minus this is. Right. Right, 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 right. Um, I first need to figure out the number of point deduction on uh, one and three mer uh, virtue. 
Um... Oh yeah, we can figure it out here. Drank a bottle, so that's that's virtue one, and kept a book, that's virtue four. Um, he has eight points uh, reduced, which means that seven points for the first virtue. Towel, hello, how are you doing? Okay, cool. Slapped is seven points. Listen to marching music is so 20 minus 7 is 13 so it's two points <laughs> that's how you do math chat two points for the third virtue awesome so we have seven and two yes how are you doing towel enthusiast have you played this game this brilliant game I'm I'm really digging it, honestly. You felt like saying it again. You can say it all day, Amron. Never but six soundtrack. There that's true. That's true. There's the my favorite soundtrack in that I've found in this game is this chapter. It has this like kinda cozy cozy sea shanty-ish music. But after a while, everything goes like kind of off key. It's really good. Does it? It should be going. Do it. Oh, I, I love good music. Or... It goes a little bit different. It's beautiful, this one. I feel it's kind of off-key now, but... Might be me. This song is so good. I thought this one goes off the rails, but... That's when you find the body. <laughs> it's so cool. And then I think it just starts anew, but it's it starts over. I love it. It's so well done this game. Whew. Okay, so we're we're here. And we are yeah, so now we can figure out how many points they have this, they have gotten. Budget eye game. Oh, I, I, yeah, I see what you mean, but it isn't. I think they're called gray... Gray color games, I think is the studio. Midsummer vibes, yeah. Actually, yeah, I've got... There's also there's there's also there's those also this I don't remember in Midsummer is is a person on fire there I don't remember but this game is fucking weird. It's fucking weird. It's very eerie. Um, so we follow the um, basically in the first chapter there is an idol that's found the golden idol. And this person kills that person to get possession of it. Um, and um, they set the bee off on fire. I wasn't sure. I don't remember it. Love it. Grew up on Goosebumps. Oh, nice. I grew up on the Dutch version of Goosebumps. 
Well, that's not not really ne necessarily the Dutch version of it, but yeah, similar. Also scary, scary spoopy books. Um, anyways, this idol has certain. It has different settings that can do, that can do um, things. So, for instance, it can set somebody on fire. It can explode something. It can expand or reduce matter. Um, they're saying it can also re resurrect somebody. Goosebumps. Oh, that's actually a good redeem. Goosebumps in Dutch is Kippenfell, which translates to chicken skin. Right? Because if because chicken got goosebumps as well. That's literally their skin. That's a good that's a good redeem there. <laughs> It's the same in Estonian. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Chicken skin? Wow. Anyways, this idol was found here and it's been kind of going from this family to a bunch of um, um, thieves to a cult and now the politics. The politici. Po po the, the, the popo. No, not the popo. But they now have the idol. And they apparently used it to kill this man. Because he got the worst score? Also, shipwreck, good day. Good day, good day. Uh, okay, so. We need to know... We need to know these people's points, right? So Fangor Quinn never got plus points. He was observed he was observed spending the night with his neighbor's wife. Is that considered lust? I think yes. So I'm thinking I'm writing it down, give me a second. Fangor I'm thinking claimed he had no wife is a lie. So that's one point. As a painting depicting a naked person. That's two points. Hold up though. Yeah. I thought this was at work, but no. He tripped, it wasn't him. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um... As a painting depicting a naked person, so that is the third virtue, which is two points. Uh, broke his wife's teapot in anger. Which is emotion, which is seven points. And then he was observed spending a night with a neighbor's wife. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking that's lost, so that will be another minus seven points, is what I think. Watch this. Are you catching the secret thing? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Okay, so he has 14, 16, 7, minus 17 points for Fangor. If, if I understand it correctly, Walter... Flirted three times with different women, so that is... I guess it counts... Wait... Does it count for three times? There are treasures in that lake? There's... There's one... There's one... I... I mean, there's definitely... There's a bunch of different treasures. But there is one thing that I added, which is kind of like an inside joke... To... The stream. It's not this guy. But nice, you found a fish. Uh, do you think this is counted three times? I think so. Three fleurs. Five headgear. No treasure, minus two points. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck, shit. Uh, so that is... I'm thinking... <clears throat> minus 21. Five headgear, which is two points per headgear. 
which is minus 10. Claimed he had not betrayed a high arbiter, but that's a lie. Indeed, lying is one point only. Interesting. Uh, so this is 32 points minus. And this means that you get expelled. Okay, that's good to know. Well, the first one wasn't expelled. We don't know what happened to him. Lothar. Held a dinner party where he offered large amounts of wine. So I'm thinking that is the first virtue is minus seven. But angry is also minus seven. But it could be minus 14 because he got angry and he shouted. So let's say that's minus 14, but he got 15 points. So he got one point plus in the end. But it could be minus six. If I if I understand correctly. Okay. Lothar. Josh. Left his work early. Minus three points. Drank and drank. That's minus seven, minus seven. Approached the married woman with an indecent offer. I'm assuming... It's lust. But what if it's... What if it's like... He's asking her to... Model for him because he wants to paint her. Naked. So that... It could be minus seven, but it could also be minus... Something else. Uh, denied four times during questioning that he had done these acts. So that's lying. So that's minus four. What'd you get? A bike! Nice one. Uh, so that is... 21, 24, 28. Minus 28. Almost expelled. Rusty bike? It's probably rusty from all the water, yeah. Better than a can. Is it though? Because, I mean, if you have to dispose of a rot if, of a rusty bike, it's a lot of work. Disposing of a, ro uh, a rusted can is easy. <laughs> um, has not held down a job since the new regime. Evaluated as 60 instances of non-work. 60 times 3 is 180. Whew. Wow. Claims he works in a castle helping his servants clean it. I don't know what that virtue is. It's either a lie or it is non-work so it's either it's either minus three or minus one and then 15 books kept in his private library so the private library is a secret and the books are 15 secrets the 16. So that is... Whew. 196, 199. But he got 200 merits. So it's either plus one. Oh, fuck. 
plus one. Or... <sighs> 96, 97, plus 3. Sorry, sometimes I need to switch to Dutch. Okay, plus 3. Uh, Gideon. Okay, Gideon, Gideon. Um, where's an outrageous hairstyle? Minus 2 points. Broke down in tear, 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 tears, tears, 10 times. Ho, ho, ho. 70 points. Wow. Minus 70 for the crying. Has refused to start working. Five times. Uh, is three points per thing. Is minus 15. Rejected the request that he share information on a secret entrance. Rejected the request. He has a secret, but he also rejected talking about it. So I'm thinking that's two points. Uh, so that is 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 89. He should be expelled. This motherfucker. He should be expelled. Uh, Fangor, minus 17. Let's see, I probably made some mistakes here and there. Walter Keen, minus 31. Ooh. Okay. Fuck. Lothar. Lothar is either plus one or minus six is what we're thinking. Plus one. And Josh is minus 28. Oh, good. What are you fishing? Sailfish? Yuri got punished for not working. Did he? Wait. Did he? Uh... Are we talking about Gideon? It's big. It's a, it's a big fish. The dude with the castle? I don't know. I don't know how we know that. How do we know this? Because he got the points for it. So you're thinking you're thinking that this one hasn't been he hasn't he hasn't seen the the court yet, but he has because he got the points. Second for lying. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so it will probably be plus three then. Okay. So we got this one right. So that's Lothar and Josh is right and Horus will be plus three, I think. Yeah, nice catch. Plus three. Let's see if it's right. Or if I did my math right. Gideon, I have minus 89. So I'm thinking Gideon is dead. Um, and the fact that we see a shriveled old man, I think that... He was aged. Ooh. <coughs> okay, I'm going against what you said. I'm trying my other option here. Okay. You're probably right then. Okay, so I did the math wrong. Uh, for Gideon, I'm thinking I did wrong. Did the light change here? I'm not sure. I'm thinking I did this one wrong. Rejected the Heart Arbiter's request that he share information of a secret entrance. So here what I did is I, call, I, I, I tallied us two points. One for having the secret and one for not willing to talk about it. Two points. But maybe it's one point. <laughs> maybe it's one point. Just for uh, uh, ignoring the request. So then we'll be 88. Oh my god. 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. Okay. I'm thinking this dude is wrong. This dude is wrong. Um, okay, Gideon. Oh, Gideon. Where's an outrageous hairstyle? Oh, that's a mistake. I made a mistake. -y. That's three points. No, it's two points. It's two points. Two points. Ten times crying. One time crying is seven points. He did it ten times. Is 70 points. Plus two for the hairstyle. 72 points. Refuse to start working. Evaluated as five instances of job skipping. Five times three. It's 15. Is 87. And then the final one. I think it's... I think it's one or two, minus one or minus two, but... I tried both. So then maybe Horus is wrong. <clears throat> Hasn't held down a job since the new regime. Maybe they changed the points. Now we haven't had information on this. Evaluated as 60 instances of non-work. So that's 60 times three is 180. Right? Claims he work his, works in his castle helping his servants clean it. It's a lie, so that's one point. So that's 181. Possesses 15 books in his private library. Maybe the private library isn't bad. Because I did count it as bad. So maybe we count it as 15. 180, 195, uh, 196, 
Dat is 96. So then it would be plus 4. Plus 4, maybe. For Horus. Oh my god, yeah. Um. Nice! Sorry, I yelled. Sorry, I got very excited. Uh, so that's a lie then. And that's 15. So having a private library isn't necessarily bad. Because that's kind of what I assumed here. Like it's hidden maybe, maybe. Over this many years have passed since the Order Party has seized power. During a tribunal... Uh, so it was Gideon. Gideon's judged to have the largest merit deduction, so he's he's at 88. Um Gideon. Is it Bell? Gideon Bell? Yeah. Gideon Bell is judged to have largest merit deduction on all tribunal history. To execute his punishment, Idol was used on him. And he lost. Uh, nay, that's not... No, 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 no. No, this... This is not right, I think. This shouldn't be idle. Truth was used, diligence, moderation. Um... It's... Let's first do this. Okay, you need to figure out how many years, but I think to execute his punishments, idol was used. Like this, this is not a good sentence. They would say the idol was used. Sister called and had a vent. I'm back. I hope she's. Uh, I hope she's doing okay. Okay, how many years have passed? You yeah, you wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Um, how long have they been doing this? I think maybe this paper says it? This is 95. Um... So I'm thinking that this is Gideon. But he's like... For your, for your information, Gideon uh, is... Oh fuck, no, I didn't want to go here. Gideon is this man. This man is Gideon. And he has minus 88 points. So if that's Gideon, they definitely made him older very quickly. With the idol. Didn't you know gamers don't care about grammar and spelling? A dev told me this once? Wait. The fuck? Weird. Um. Okay, how long... How long is this court a thing? Enforcer? Record keeper? I'll wager you feel the new regime rewards your diligence now. Tell me why I saw you spend more than three shillings on new clothes after asking you to lend me money. The fourth virtue. You said he had no money, right, 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 right. <clears throat> um, the new regime rewards your diligence now. Wouldn't it be in the Gazette? Oh shit! Oh shit, you're right. Oh, you're so smart! Since the year 92! Mm. 
So let's say three years then? That's right, I can't read. <laughs> In before your username isn't even about liking towels. It's bowels. Bowel enthusiast. Uh, three years have passed. 92, 93, 94, 95. I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's like two and a half. Travel enthusiast. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> you have to change your name now to Bowel Enthusiast. <laughs> it's kind of cursed. That's a cursed name. Um, wait, despite the vast popular support for the party, His Ma Majesty refuses to acknowledge the authority of the party's tribunal. So I think it's just like new, new, new. I Arbiter Hurst announced that in two months the party and its supporters will participate in a peaceful march. Since the party party has seized power. What am I doing wrong? Y yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking the idol is wrong as well. I'm thinking I'm thinking the idol is wrong. He lost 88 souls. 88 francs. He lost 88 bones? Do you think they took bones from him? Oh lord, you're right. You're right. Emron, because I already said like he he they made him older. The order party has seized power and now enforces the four maxims of virtue. The young duke Gideon Bell was judged during the tribunal to have lost eighty-eight merits. The high arbiter of the party, Lazarus Hurst, used the idol to decrease Gideon's youth by 88 years and thus making him 108, which resulted in his death. Wow, that is so cool. So that means that other people get younger? No, hold up. Hold up. Let me go back for a second. Uh, sorry, um... He doesn't have a book on him, okay. Plus 12. So, it's the year 95. I don't want to do the math here. They made him- they make you younger if you, I- I'm guessing they make you younger. If you get good points. Wow. Do we? Do we have one more thing? Wait, wait, wait. Oh shit. Oh shit, you're right. Oh <gasps> fuck. Um Fanger Quinn and Walter Keen. Okay. I didn't notice. Uh thanks. Claimed he had no wife. Lie, that's one point. 
Has a painting depicting a naked person in his house. I'm looking at the lady. Is 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 there anything other wrong with this? Ooh, could it be and art and lust? Yes. So that is nine points instead of two, I think. So that's ten... Twenty-four. Four, I think t minus 24 for Fangor. Yeah, because because you can have two things in fucking Jesus. You really didn't like that, did you? Okay, that means that I think this guy is fine. I think I judged him the right way. Um... Flirted three times with different married women during the party convention. That's three times lust. Is twenty three times seven is twenty one points. Wore ridiculous headgear at five events. Headgear is two points. Five events is ten points. Right? Claimed he had not betrayed High Arbiter Lazarus during his Ritual of Ascendance. Well, that was a lie. So that's one point. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. 21. 10. 1. Maybe being expelled also gets you minus points? Don't know. Um, I'm wondering if the third one also counts as like sloth because it was at work uh, so then that would be 35 Four? No. He was expelled. I think I think that the, the problem is that he was expelled. Isn't it 32? Is it? Wait. <gasps> How am I so dumb? Yes! It's 32! I mathed wrong. I didn't do the math right. Oh shit, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I did it wrong. I forgot. I was slothing here. I slothed. Oopsies. <laughs> Slight delay in the peaceful march to the king's castle. I think this is the final chapter of the base game. Then we have the DLC. Uh. Okay, that's Koch. Why are you not working, you worthless piece of garbage? I'm doing the same thing I saw Lazarus do during the merit executions. Slightly dented saber. Okay, so the stone is missing. And he's trying to... Um, I mean, he's trying to probably give himself more life. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's trying to rejuve rejuvenate the apple, probably. Um, okay. This regime has to fall. This has taken everything from me. Watch is ticking shows 12.15. The Via Blade. Capital Route Morning Report. At 8, new fangled insurrectioner, no, insurrectionist carriage passes by. Individual in the uniform passes by. On the new two-wheel contraption, a bike. Two individuals pass on horses. Okay. So she is like... Kind of like spying, I guess. Oh. Slightly dented saber with some blood on it. A man in a helmet with numerous cuts on his body, not breathing. Uh, Belchester Castle. And a bunch of other places. Capital. Port. Blackfields, Crow Towers, Woodshires. I want to first do the overview. Uh, that is... Oh god, I'm so bad with names. Oh, this is a horse. Look at the horse. Look at the horse. I have some small but pressing business to attend to at the property of our late brother Sebastian. The previous Proud Beast steward. I will be back at the camp for our 10 o'clock strategy meeting as planned, Lazarus. But there's nobody on the horse. This is James Turner's seal. There's nobody on the horse, is there? Nay. Worry not and continue to feast, wife. Nothing can stand in the way. Does this game have skibbity toilet? Asks YouTube. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> I will kill our enemies wherever we go. Almost empty whiskey flask. Horse race betting slip. Oh, it's him. It is him. From the first chapter. Uh, from the first chapter. How are you doing, Milkman? It's good to see you. Um, Dear husband, you're so brave and you have been drinking since early this morning. What will we do now? Is that her? Is this... Is this the lady that we saw earlier? The beautiful lady, I forgot her name. What will we do now? What if the evil government men will find us? Become the pure flower that I know you can be for me, Edmund Cloudsley. Yeah, Mary. Dear Mary, I know where your unworthy mate is hiding you. Soon I will free you from this his dirty paws and ship him to the colonies. While you... While you, I will put on a pedestal of the sweetest praise and you will become my ideal wife, Edmund. Motherfucker. Oh, Peter. For you, I would fight a tiger and win. Peter Batley. Oh yeah, that's Peter. Yeah, yeah, Mary, my uncle Edmund Clausley died in some robbery and I am rich. Now your father will see me for the man that I am. Let's marry. December 10th, 88. Hey. He hasn't died. He has Wait. It is this letter is not him, maybe. Seal has a wolf on it. Okay, this is interesting. Well, this is Peter. Okay. 
this is a ship. Okay. There's one cannon missing. Then we go here. There's a guy hiding here. He is a dark hand steward. Oh, recognize that voice. It's you. Is it poetic that you have fallen for the same traps that you did as, as you did all those years ago? Straw men are your bane. Is it David Goran? Damn you, you cunning devil. Ugh. I think it's David. You'll find me in the place where we two first met. There we can talk. Loaded pistol, empty pistol. Okay. Okay, shot the glass. Newly invented transportation device, a bike. <laughs> he shot this person. Ah, uh, he thought it was William Keane because of the hats and he tried to shoot him. But it was a scarecrow. Lol. White pigeon. I admit I may have treated you unjustly after our long cooperation. I it will I will come alone in peace, so we can discuss your compensation. Why is there a pigeon here? I think that's David. Oh, this is the same house that we saw at the start of the game. A pile of mangled and burned corpses. Cannon. I already saw it was missing. Uh, anything else here? No. Um. Oh! We've been here before. You think they will try to kidnap the king? Me and my employer are getting out of this blasted country. Is that Ada? I've instructed him to arrive around half eleven. Most likely he will be in the order party uniform if he comes alone without any backup approach him if he gives you something that belonged to the one who escaped your tonic you may proffer him the instruction slip i gave you conceal your face he may recognize you the one who escaped your tonic okay so that is edward she tried to kill Edward, but somebody else died. If it gives you something that belonged to the one who escaped your tonic... Give him the instruction slip. Okay, so she has given the instruction slip to... A man in an order party uniform. I heard rumors you lost a cannon while gambling. <laughs> Nonsense, I am not an idiot, but real men like us could beat those or new or those order parties party ninnies even without any weapons. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Sure, 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 sure. Uh this leads back out, right? Yeah, okay. All those order rats sneaking around here, this is no good. I hope they just blackmail me and bugger off. There is keys. Okay, so that's all here. Oh, it's him again, Nicholas. Yes, Comrade Lazarus. Oh, has not yet returned for several hours. Comrades Alistair and James have gone to find him. If they do not return, we will organize more search parties to find the lost. The lost. 
There's a map. Castle, manor, isle, cabin, crossroads, camp, mermaid inn. Mm-hmm. Lazarhurst. David Goran. Since a successful and since his success at the Mermaid Inn has proven to be a resourceful and discreet professional. Nicholas Maker, cowardly but dutiful, useful up to a limit. Alistair Koch, pompous and vain, but being a military man is ready to obey and kill. Or ready to kill, sorry. Um. I'm just thinking back to the scene at the start of the stream today where one told another, like, I'm sorry for the shouting yesterday because that's breaking the first virtue. We know that now. Uh, James Turner, greedy and hedonistic, requires constant material motivation to cooperate. Walter Keane, ambitious and inventive, but treacherous as many smart people are. Okay. Lazarus, you took 32 things from me. I demand you return them. If you refuse, I will make the story of your true origins known to the party leaders. Leaders. At half of 11, May 15th, meet me at the place the idol was stolen from our brotherhood and poor Willard Wright met his death. Come alone and bring proof. Something personal of yours to give to the veiled woman. Ha 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 ha. Tie your ply to the pigeon. Oh shit. Okay. Tie your ply to the pigeon and release it from the cage. It will find me. Okay, so Lazarus. Got that note. Came here. Sent his pigeon inside with his response. I admit I may treat you unjustly. I will come alone in peace. We can discuss your compensation. Oh, but if it's... Okay, if it's Lazarus, that's this guy. Wait. <sighs> I think this is Lazarus, maybe. Lazarus. I'm not sure now. I'm doubting a little bit. Come along, bring proof. Something personal of yours. So the veiled woman... But she had Edward's uh, handkerchief, right? Handkerchief. So that is not. That's not Lazarus's. Okay, I need to get water because I'm thirsty as hell. Short little break. I will be right back. We have some ads playing while I have my break so that we don't have them during the stream. So I'll be right back. During the gameplay, I mean. Mike is my cheese boy. Oh, he's not my cheese boy. He's my killer. <laughs> I needed to hit him then. I need to hit his sad face. No way. <gasps> it's a TARDIS. No, it's not a TARDIS. <laughs> What's it called? I don't watch Doctor Who. 
exterminator or something? It's a TARDIS! Oh, a Dalek! I'm so disappointed in myself! <laughs> what do we do with this? Oh. Too heavy. Glitch is carrying the team. Let's Glitch is 100% carrying the team. <laughs> Who would ever thought that I would I carry a team? I'm moving away. This was my life goal to be carrying a team in Dead by Daylight. I never, I never well, thought this would be possible. I am so glad. Uh, I mean, this rod, <laughs> uh, raspberry tar. Raspberry tart. Raspberry tar. What's a raspberry tar? Uh, <laughs> fart. Yes, it is actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I did see. I don't think anyone is going with left. Me. I think you were doing a task. Sorry, I got very excited. <laughs> this person is fake, right? Yeah. That always gets me. It is a, it is a fantastic game. I cannot say I'm enjoying it at the moment, but <laughs> I don't deal well with scary stuff. This is Assassin's Creed. And then free fall. Dead. That doesn't Give me work. a minute, okay? I'll be right back. Be right back, and then we crush this oh, yes, one. Right now. Fuck! Why did I need? To do this. Why couldn't I just it's run? A... Hello. Why is the TARDIS shooting at me? Oh. <sighs> okay. Don't sneeze. Okay. Take your meds, chat. DBD era. I've only played it a couple of times. I've only played it a couple of times. Oh. Not too much. <laughs> you carried the team, no less. Exactly. Because we all have only played the game a couple of times. <laughs> so somebody had to carry the team. Nah, I've never been good at that game. There's Oh yeah, there's Iron Maiden stuff. Thanks for the hydrate, because I'm very thirsty. Okay. Why are these symbols here? Oh, we can click them. Oh! Oh, that is so smart. You can click the symbols to go to that chapter. I like that. I've played almost 1k <laughs> hours. I'm still mediocre. Being good at the game makes people cranky at every- That's true. I have some friends who've played a lot of DBD. And they hate the game so much. They hate the game so much. Why are you played then? If it's so crap. Hmm? Okay, what we got here? Early in the morning. Mm -hmm, went to mm -hmm, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before noon, somebody went out and try. A, instead, they found something at the. Mm -hmm, they started mm -hmm, mm -hmm, in the afternoon. They were the blah, 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 blah. early in the morning. Somebody killed somebody. Before noon, somebody killed somebody. Mm, cool. Okay. Awesome. Um. 
You never played it and you're crap at it? Wow. That is pretty mind-blowing. Uh, the guy on the bike. 8.30. Individual passes by on the two-wheel contraption. So we saw a bike here. So that's around 8.30. A30 is when this happened, I guess. The art style of this game is both brilliant and cursed. I fully agree with you. I fully agree with you. Before noon. Try and... Um Okay, so early in the morning, uh I want to say Lazarus Hurst went to the cabin to kill so, I am unsure. I'm thinking it's David Goran, but I'm not sure. Because... Because David Goren wanted to have the Golden Idol. It, it's not... I don't think... I think it's maybe... Okay, I'll need to dive into that situation. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah. On the way back, they started to fight over it. On the way back. Okay, wait. What happened? On the way back. Oh yeah, Koch has the idol. Oh, we found an empty horse. Ha 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 ha. Koch and somebody... They started to fight about it. Mm. Well, but he killed. My cursed idol? No, it's my cursed idol. Uh, is the forest... The forest isn't an option. Uh, what did you say again? Two individuals, common horses, so that's 10-15. So it's before noon. Uh, they went out, so that's... Uh... Hey, I don't have Koch's name here. Oh yeah, you're Koch. Al Alistair Koch and mm -hmm, went out to try and... Let me dive into those two. Uh, crossroads. Why not work in your worst, worthless piece of garbage? I'm doing the same thing I saw Lazarus do during the merit executions. Okay. 
But what were they trying to do? I have some small but pressing business to attend to at the property of our late brother Sebastian. Um, ah, so it's Lazarus and Koch. I'll be back at the camp for our 10 o'clock strategy meeting as planned. Okay. But they ride out at 10.15, right? Ten o'clock. But also, this is James Turner's thing. Uh, that's Peter. Hmm. Uh, Lazarus has not yet returned. Okay, 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 okay. So he didn't return on time. Comrade Alistair and James have gone to find him. Alistair and James. Alistair and James went out to find... Uh, Lazarus Hurst. And instead, they found the dead body at the crossroads. No! The golden idol? Fuck. Golden, but why is the golden idol at the wherever the fuck? It's not the crossroads, though. It's the... Like... This? The clearing? Castle Manor... Wait, I can do that. Camp, crossroads, castle, inn... Lazarus Hurst. So... Lazarus Hurst, if, he, if he's like some kind of high rank, he probably wouldn't have worn this. Right? So this then is... James Turner. Potentially. Hmm. It is. Because of his shoes. He has the same shoes. Uh, okay. They started to fight about it. Okay, so... At the crossroads, then. Oh! On the way back, they start to fight over it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So James went to... The property of her late brother Sebastian, the previous Proud Beast steward. So the manor... The manor... Yes! Okay, good, 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 good. Um... So 
So before noon, Alistair Koch killed James Turner at the crossroads. I mean, that's I'm pr I'm sure about this. Um, but we won't know until we fill in those two as well. Uh. So he went to the manor. Pressing business to attend to. He killed some people here. Um Okay. I mean, he could have been killed here. Okay. Um, Lazarus went to the manor um, to uh, yeah. I, d I don't know the rest of this I don't know this situation You went there to solve some issues, right? Uh, no, but he was on a horse. Hold up, hold up, hold up. He went on his horse. We don't know that, actually. I think I'm mixing up people. Um, Alistair and James went to try to find Lazarus. Uh, Lazarus did leave on his horse, but I don't understand why she hasn't recorded that. Is her timing off? So I'm thinking this is Lazarus. The insurrectionists, they go to the manor. He goes there as well and kills them. I'm not sure. Uh, and what about this cannon? Do you think they will try to kidnap the king? Me and my employer are getting out of this blasted country. I heard rumors you lost your cannon while gambling. Nonsense, I'm not an idiot. Real men like us could beat those order party ninnies even without any weapons. Probably did lose it though. Uh, 
Okay. Help, hi! Hello, hello, hello! Dark Hand... Dark Hand Stewart, right? Dark Hand Stewart... Uh, Dark Hand Stewart, so that is... Green Mask... Green coat. That's Lazarus. Okay. That's Lazarus. This is Lazarus. At least... Lazarus has this rank. Um, and ah, oh, damn it. In my mind, this should be Lazarus. I recognize that voice, it's you. Isn't it poetic that you have fallen for the same trap as you did all those years ago? Straw men are your bane. So earlier, yeah, so then this would be David. He's still alive though. Um, Lazarus shot David, I think. Uh, but what time is this? Is what I want to know. Lazarus, you took 32 things from me. I demand you return them. If you refuse... I'll make the story of your true origins known to the other party leaders. Leaders. At half eleven. So it's eleven thirty. You made a place where the idol was stolen. Poor, poor Willard Wright met his death. No, nope, you're doing good. You woke up five hours ago, passed back out, and now you're up for reals. Nice. Do you not need to work today, or or am I, or is the time so skewered that I just have a feeling that it's late for you? Uh, come alone. Bring proof of something personal of yours. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let me go here. right oh oh okay 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 um meet me at the place the idol was stolen from our brotherhood and poor Willard Wright met his death. So this is at the at the inn. Come and bring proof. Okay, so this is at the inn. 
Tie your reply to the pigeon and release it from the cage. It will find me. The stream was paused. Oh no. Thanks for wanting to do that though. Thank you. Uh, Willard writes. Uh, okay. This was 11.30, right? Uh... You went to the inn? I've instructed him to arrive around half 11. Most likely he'll be in order party uniform. If he comes alone without backup outside, approach him. If he gives you something that belonged to the one who escaped your tonic, you may prefer him the instruction slip I gave you. Dagger. I'm not sure if he gave her something of of his. Cause it's not this guy. Don't think so. Um. So maybe the dagger is his. Lazarus. So Lazarus is here as well. Does he have this dagger? He doesn't have it here. Uh, here maybe? No. Uh, Lazarus isn't here and he isn't here either. Okay. Okay, she has this on her. He died here. So someone who was here has taken his... He doesn't have it on him here though. Hmm. It's handkerchief. Is it? Hmm. Does somebody here have it? That's weird. Like, why does that show up all of a sudden? Okay. Nobody here has it. Okay, here it does have his... It does have a watch from him? Oh, this dagger. David Goran. Um...
still has his handkerchief here. Okay, so I'm assuming he gave that to her because they work here both. I mean, she works for him. So they might have... How's the game going? It's going really well. I, I'm, I'm like, I think I'm in the final chapter right now. So think she has been dating him, maybe. I'm not sure. And this could be... Why did we just see that dagger? Is it Lazarus? David. No? Fuck, we just saw that somewhere. Um... Do, do here. This is David's bag. David has a dagger, but I'm not sure if other people have the same dagger as well. No, they all have different weapons. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Mm, I'm so confused. I am so confused. Uh, because... Um... Lazarus is to meet her here and give her s something of his personal. I guess it could be the key. But this dagger is David's. And this is Edward's. Small, hi! Simple small key. Could it be the key? Could it be the key? Did she have the key here? Uh, he uh, no, 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 no. Here. Did she have this key here? She did. Hmm. 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 Okay. He was asked to give her something personal to him. But now she she gets to hear like if he gives you something that belonged to the one who escaped your tonic. Like that's a different Thank you, small. That's a different message. Thank you for redeeming the guide the raid thing. We will do that. Um Yeah. Um David Goran. David Goran is somewhere in this in this situation. Um went to the cabin. To kill. Yeah, I think I think he killed David, but Teeth? Teeth? 
or thief. So I'd bang more food. Got chili cheese bites. Oh! New thief? Oh, nice! Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, thief. <laughs> um, David Goran. That's who we said the guy in green was, right? Was he David Goran? Dude? Walter Keane. Oh. 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 Walter Keane. No, Walter Keane is the one who's killing. Wanted to... Have the golden idol? I'm not sure. I'm kind of guessing now. It's not good. And that is the cabin, though, right? Um, mm, cabin. Lousy cabin. Hey, Bruno! Hi! Thank you for lurking! Enjoy your lunch! Will you be streaming again later today? Edmund wants to kidnap Peter. doing the reels again two two hours later i hope it's going well snoop i can actually join the stream oh, the game is really tough snoop oof 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 i know where your unworthy mate is hiding you i will free you from his dirty paws and ship him to the colonies. So romantic, yeah. Edmund Cloudsley. Um, this isn't Edmund though, right? This is Peter. Yeah. That's Edmund.
What if the evil government men find us? Okay. You're so brave you've been drinking since early this morning. What will we do now? What if the evil government finds us? I feel like, do you think she's like, she's like setting a trap for him to be kidnapped? I wonder. I wonder if this is, tra is a trap for him to get kidnapped. Because we have kidnap here. Um, in the afternoon. Get back his ideal wife. Lost wife. It could be. Oh, we don't have... Wait, we don't have the uh, Cloudsley, whatever his name is. That's not an option here. Fuck. Uh, Peter... Batley. To kidnap Peter Batley. I'm missing Edward's name. Have I missed some information somewhere, maybe? Uh, no, no, no. No. Edmund. No. It's it's interesting because he says my uncle Edmund Clausley died in some robbery and I am rich. December 10th of 88. But in March 15th, we have a letter from, from Edmund. Wait, this is the same guy, right? Edmund, yeah. Well, he still sent her a letter, so he's not dead. Confused about this. Seal is... Um... Loudly. It is his seal as well. Mm. Does the tiger have the woman's hair? Wait, does it? <laughs> it does, kind of. It does, kind of. Hmm. Okay, but I cannot find... I don't have the words for... Edward Cloudsley. Um... Oh, it's, it's, oh shit, you're you're right, it's a tiger. I did I didn't realize. <laughs> I didn't realize it's a tiger. Um Kidnap, kill, blackmail. Oh 
yeah, wasn't somebody blackmailing? Oh shit, I haven't looked at this yet, have I? Ada Baker, Walter Knott. Oh nay, I hope they will just blackmail me. Mm. My god, so tough. Uh, I recognize this voice, it's you. Isn't it poetic that you have fallen for the same trap as you did all those years ago? Straw men are your bane. So, uh, Lazarus is invited to the cabin? No. So I reply to the pigeon and uh, okay, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even notice it that it was somebody else. Uh, so another, another guy. Okay. You'll find me in the place where we two first met. So this is in this location. Um... Uh, does that mean... I'm now thinking that Lil Pip is Lazarus, but I don't think- I don't think that's true. Holds up. Yeah. Hi, McBanyas. It's good to see you. Do you have- do you have a hint for me? Uh... Lil Pip sounds like a rapper name. Yeah, it's true. Where we first met. Who met first here? So... David Goran met these three guys. Uh, so that is Walter Keane, Hardy Abe, and Jack Nails. But also Edmund. But Edmund didn't really meet them, did they? Walter Keane. Oh, I'm so confused. Because Lazarus isn't even here. Okay, fuck. I tried Walter Keane already. Mm, I'll hold up, hold up though, because David went here to kill Walter Keane. Was Walter Keane one of the Golden Idol? I'm not sure about that, but could be because David Goran wanted it. No? There's multiple things wrong here. Wanted to blackmail? Straw men are your bane. Cunning devil, arg. 
Oh, wrong button. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So this is supposed to be Walter Keen. So the guy outside tried to shoot Walter Keen. But Walter Keen shot him. Mm-hmm. This is Walter Keen. Because Walter Keen... I don't know what Walter Keen wants, even. Wanted to have the lost years, wanted to have... Hmm... I'm trying to think for if, if there's something else instead of have the golden idol. Yeah, David Gordon wanted to... Good afternoon, Yoda. Hello. Does anyone like tea? Nicest, fanciest, loose leaf tea and I'm in love. What kind of flavor is it? I love tea. I don't really do too fancy teas though. It's too much work. It's tea flavor, okay. So black tea then, I, I guess? Hi, Cap. Oh, black tea. Chinese? Oh, okay. Nice. I hate us, yeah. <laughs> she wants to leave, I think. She didn't purr, she was meow. That's what she was doing. You into dark and bitter teas, not me. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. It's not my jam. Let me free! I do all the teapot tea, tea, teacup shenanigans. Wow. All right. All right. It's good pronouns actually. I like I like the sound of those. Um <laughs> I'm 
I'm very confused. I'm very confused about the fact that it seems that Lazarus isn't here. Because this isn't Lazarus, right? Walter Keen. Mm -mm. I'm stuck, chat. I need help. Anybody know anything? Please. Please. I just got here. It's fine. It's good. Let me see. Okay, okay, okay. It's it's so much though. Um I'm still trying to understand the game. I've not been paying attention paying attention. Just got okay, 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 okay. I'm taking you on a journey, okay? Okay, together we can do this. Together we can do this. All right. Enlighten us. Okay. Oh god. Okay. I'm I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do it. I don't understand it myself. So it's hard to enlighten you, but I'll try. Here we have the military camp. In here we have Lazarus hurts his tent. If it's too much, no worries. Well, I need I need some I need some advice. I need some help. So it's not too much work, because it could mean that I get to the solution. This is Lazarus's tent. He has wait, what's this again? Oh hold up. So, so my main thing is, he has a letter, Lazarus. You took 32 things from me. I demand you return them. If you refuse, I'll make the story of your true origin known to the other party leaders. Okay, so that is blackmail. Okay, so there is blackmail going on here. It is very specific. At half 11... Meet me at the place the idol was stolen from, from our brotherhood, and poor Willard Wright met his death. Which is the... Um, which is the inn. With the, the mermaid thing. 32 things, yeah. So, 32 things. I was thinking that... The idol can do 32 different things. I have not done the math at all here. I'm just thinking like the, the, the idol can do a lot of different things. So it could be that. I don't know. Um, where the idol was stolen from our brotherhood. And poor Willard Wright met his death. Come alone, bring proof. Something personal of yours. And give it to the veiled woman. Tie your reply to the pigeon and release it from the cage. It will find me. Right? Give it to the veiled woman. So, the veiled woman... Uh, well, I want to first have another read as, at this book. David Gorn... Since his success at Mermaid Inn has proven to be a successful and discreet professional, cowardly but dutiful, useful up to a limit, pompous vain, being military man, ready to obey and kill, kill, greedy, hedonistic, requires constant motivation to cooperate, ambitious, inventive but treacherous, 
as many smart people are. Um, okay, so, so, so he says, come alone and bring proof of something personal of yours to give to the veiled woman. So he has to go, Lazarus has to go to the inn. Uh, the inn is over here. And this is the veiled woman. And she has a note that says, I have instructed him to arrive at around half eleven. Most likely he will be in order party uniform. If he comes alone without any backup outside, approach him. If he gives you something that belonged to the one that who escaped your tonic, you may proffer him the instruction slip I gave you. Conceal your face, he may recognize you. So she tried to kill... She tried to kill Edward Cloudsley earlier. But failed and killed his sister? I think? Um... Okay. So she's... She, that's, that's her. So then we look at her bags and she has the key that she already had earlier in the game. She has Edward's handkerchief. So he is the one who, who escaped the tonic, right? But Lazarus was instructed to give something personal of his to her. And I don't understand how that is personal to him. I'm confused. Also, she has a dagger that belonged, belongs to David, Goran, and I don't understand why she has that. The tonic is the poison, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, so that's throwing me off with... Who the fuck? They tried to poison EC with a tonic. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. The pigeon letter... Um... Um... The pigeon letter said... I admit I may have treated you unjustly after our long cooperation. And I'm thinking that this is about... Uh, I need to think about the names. I'm thinking that this is about Walter Keane... Um, betraying Lazarus. But then... This Lazarus wouldn't send that, I think. I'll come alone in peace so we can discuss your compensation. That this does sound like Lazarus. Is this not Lazarus' re reply to the blackmail? Yeah, I think so. Talked about compensation? I think so. But how did Lazarus treat Walter Keen unjustly? Mm, and another thing... So this, uh, this, this, um, Scarecrow has a hat that belongs to Walter Keen. So this guy wanted to shoot Walter Keen. Making me think that this is Lazarus, right? He has this uniform on and he tried to kill that person. Um, he has two guns on him, one is empty and one isn't. And he has a note that said, which is what the, the, gady, the lady gave to him. You'll find me in the place where we two first met. There we can talk. That's that this is this is what confuses me a lot. 
Because supposedly this is Lazarus. And that's Walter Keane. This guy is is Walter Keane. At least he has the same rank as him. Uh is it the forest cabin? Uh I think I think it is, yeah. 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 And he, yeah, so the tattoos, this is a dark, dark hand initiate. And if we go here, the dark hand initiate. Dark hand is a green mask and... Wait, am I saying initiate? I mean... I mean steward, sorry. Dark hand steward. Uh, means green, a green mask, green uh, thingy, which leads to Walter Keane. Because he has that. But there might be multiple people who have this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if multiple people can have the same rank. Anyways, that's making me think that the guy with the tattoos is Walter Keane. Oh, I recognize that voice. It's you. Isn't it poetic that you have fallen for the same trap as you did all those years ago? Straw men are your bane. And then... And also, if, if we are inside this barn, uh, it says... Wait, no, where was it? Where did it say that? Oh, it said on his body. You'll find me in the place where we two met. Where we two first met. So if this is the, if this is the cabin, it leads to this location. It leads to this location. This is Walter Keane. Who supposedly is the shooter right now. But I don't know who the fuck Lazarus is. Like he isn't here. That's confusing the fuck out of me. Lazarus isn't here. Um, that's David. Lucia, Lil Pip. That's what I'm saying. Like Lil Pip might be Lazarus, but I don't think. Is Lazarus the guy on top of the straw man? No. No. That's David. Lazarus has has dark hair. Um a little a little bit slick. Slick in a in a tail, I think. Hardy Ape and Jack Nails died, exactly. Oh, was he resurrected? Oh, was he resurrected? The weird thing is that Edward, or whatever the fuck his name is, he doesn't have his uh, handkerchief here anymore, which is interesting. Is that him? I don't think so. Maybe it's this guy. Uh, let me go to the cult people, because here it speaks about the event that we just showed. Um, Walter Keane. With great resolve, punish the despicable enemy. I, with a few ba a few brave companions, fearlessly entered this hideout in a remote re remote hunting cabin. But well, the devil had pre prepared a treacherous trap and exploded explosion slaughtered my dearest friends as we entered his study. Thanks to my study 
sturdy physique, I survived the blast, only to be assaulted by the enemy's lackey, David Gorin, and a pack of bloodthirsty hounds. So this is a lie, because he assault they assaulted him first. After an hour of fight, I received numerous deadly wounds. This is this 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 has been interesting because he says deadly a lot. David was out cold, but he wasn't dead. Who died? He says that he's his accomplices. But he's, he's named multiple times here that he had deadly wounds. And... EC? Uh, does it say here EC? Oh yeah, here. I discovered the enemy's dead body slain by the trap of his own making, but no trace. But this is a lie, because he's not dead. No, 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 he's not dead. The enemy's dead body. Um... I mean, I guess he he's his enemy. Uh, servant lied about the mas his master being dead. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. That's that's why this doesn't that's why this is this is false. Once I've recovered from my deadly wounds and shaken off the watchman, I will send you a next report. Um no, we haven't seen him afterwards. There there's there's tales that I think David says that he killed him? What if EC is Lazarus? That could be. Oh shit, that could be. Oh shit, you're right. Oh, that will make so much sense. That will make so much sense. Um, so what could then have happened is that... Yeah, it would make sense why he has a handkerchief, that's true. That's true. But how did he die? A throwback and then a comeback. How did he die? Um, this is 89. Okay, so he did die in 88. Okay, yeah. Okay, 100%, 100% you're right. He did, he died, because uh, he died uh, uh, December 10th, 88, is when e Edward, whatever his fucking name is, died. EC died December 10th, 88. But we have him sending a letter after that date. So he is still alive. He's really, really risen. Right. There's a confession from the servant who said that he died even though he was hiding in a chest. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's true. Um. Uh. I'm trying to think where that note was. I must apologize a thousand times for my absence. Uh, road to recovery was full of error. Government dogs chased me. There I finally bested my pursuers with the help of Lazarus Hurst, a young resourceful gentleman whom I met in a remote manor one dark winter's night. Manor? Oh, hey. Okay. Manor. They didn't meet at the cabin. 
Not only did he earn my trust by stepping into the fray against the villains, but he turned out to be well versed in the arcane arts, of course. Yeah, because he has the freaking he has the freaking idol. Okay, that makes so much sense. Because I was so confused about where Lazarus came from. Okay, so they they didn't meet here for the first time. But in the manor. At least that's what they say, right? Idol can make him younger, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not a manor, right? Walter Keen Lazarus. Yeah, they did meet here. Yes, they they did they did meet here, unless he never opened the chest. But I think he did. So they did meet here, but he doesn't know they met here, right? We already know Walter's been lying. Um. Um Well, I'm thinking like if EC actually died, then he wasn't lying. Unless he killed him and he re 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 resurrected him and stuff. Does he know because I vouched for Lazarus? I don't think he knows. But maybe Lazarus. Did Lazarus betray Walter Keane? Um... I don't know. He looks a little older. Oh, that might be how he betrayed him. He made him older. Yeah, good point. Good point. He is older. Mm. Okay. Um. Thirty-two things. Yeah, lie. Yeah, years. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It did pass my mind. Years. Thirty-two years. Um. Okay, so, so, um, God, my brain, I'm trying, trying really hard. Um, uh, what is confusing me? Is that let, let me remove this. Uh, early in the morning. Lazarus Hurst went to the cabin to kill Walter Keane because... Walter Keane. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm there, I'm there. Hold up, hold up. Wanted to have the lost years. Lost years? <gasps> Nay! 
Wanted to black. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Walter Keen went to cabin to blackmail Lazarus Hurst because. Uh... No. Lost years? So, the th okay, a couple of things that are confusing me right now is uh, Lazarus was said to me go to the inn at 11.30. I think half 11 was it said? Half 11? Half 11, so 11.30. Eleven thirty, they Lazarus went to the inn, and oh fuck! Eleven thirty, he went to the inn to meet with Ada, and Ada got the handkerchief, right, and gave him the note that said, "Meet me where we first met." Okay. But, uh, Lazarus's horse has a note that says, I have some small but pressing business to attend to at the property of our late brother Sebastian. Uh, so that is the manor. I'll be back at the camp before 10 o'clock. Meeting the strategy meeting as planned. But like, he left already knowing that he wouldn't be there at 10 o'clock. Because he, he, he had an appointment at 11.30. I'm so confused. Uh, wait, but... yeah. Yeah. And also, in his camp, he says, Yes, comrade, Lazarus hasn't yet returned for several hours. Alistair and James have gone to find him. It's confusing, right? Like, it doesn't match up with the time, I feel. Uh, yeah, it's it's. I think it's morning. And also, eleven thirty isn't early in the morning. Hmm. Uh, and another thing that happened is at the manor. So let's say they did go to the manor where they supposedly met for the first time. There was a cannon that shot a bunch of... Let's say soldiers, I don't know. Uh, the cannon shot it. Let's say Walter Keen shot these men. But I can't really name these men, you know? So early in the morning, Walter Keen went to the manor to... Oh, 
But these people also went to the manor and they found the golden idol there. So why is it, why who left the golden idol at the manor? Oh man, I am so confused. Went to the manor, Lazarus Hurst. Golden Idol, no, the Golden Idol is with, um, I mean, at the moment, the Golden Idol is with uh, 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 Alistair Koch. But that's like, that happens here. Uh, so, yeah, I guess, I guess, yes, at this point, Lazarus has the golden idol. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. He, okay, so he went to the manor to blackmail... Actually, Walter Keane went to the manor to blackmail... Lazarus first because I don't think there's more sightseeing though no. to blackmail because Um, yeah, the other sightseeing is, um, there's a lady here who is basically a spy. She's, she's writing down all the stuff that happens. So at eight in the morning, newfangled insurrectionist's carriage passes by. It goes to the manor. Individual in insurrectionist uniform passes by. Two wheel contraption, so that's Lazarus. And then we have James Turner and uh, Alistair Hertz, or whatever his name is, searching for Lazarus. Her clock right now is 12.15. But I'm not sure if his if her clock is right, obviously. So that's what we have. We have here Koch, who is trying to make himself younger, I guess. Why are you not working, you worthless piece of garbage? I'm doing the same thing as uh, same thing I saw Lazarus do during the merit executions. Um this is set to uh, make someone younger, I guess. But the, there's no gem. Or it's dead. Broken, maybe. Uh, slightly dented saber, because he was fighting with his pal who he killed. The manor doesn't have any other clues apart from the cannon and the bodies. And you see the car outside. So this is the car that came like at 8 in the morning. So 8 in the morning. Yeah, this yeah, th this is the thing like them meeting isn't early in the morning. Lazarus going to the manor is early morning. That's early morning. But I don't know what he did there.
He shot the cannon, but that's not an that's not an option. <laughs> I restore my cannon in the living room. Yeah, so the cannon came from uh, the ship here. Lazarus is one of the bodies. I don't know. The cannon came from here. And that came from here. Uh, she says, I heard rumors you lost a cannon while gambling. And he says, nonsense, I'm not an idiot, but real men like us could beat those order party ninnies even without any weapons. I did lose it one way or another. I'm so confused. Hmm. Order rat sneaking around here, so he was here to give her the handkerchief. <sighs> um. So this horse that's running here is uh, James Turner, the doctor. And he had the note of Lazarus. And this is Peter, Batley, and Mary, Nicholas? These are married. Who's the guy that wrote a letter? So, so she has a letter from him, who she married, and from Edward Cloudsley, who is now Lazarus. Uh, so this is... For you, I would fight a tiger and win, Peter Batley. And he also sent here, December 10th, my uncle Edmund Cloudsley, oh it's Edmund, not Edward died in some robbery and I am rich. Now your father will see me for the man that I am. Let's marry. So so he did die here. I was confused about this, but now I understand it. And then seven years after he died. So it's Lazarus that sent this letter. Dear Mary, I know where your unworthy mate is hiding you. Soon I'll free you from his dirty paws and ship him to the colonies while I will put you... While I... While you, I will put on a pedestal of sweetest praise and you will become my ideal wife. So, were they at the manor? If Edmund is now La Lazarus? Um... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So I was also... Um, do we have a time here? We don't have a time. I was kind of thinking... Here's a betting slip. Empty whiskey flask. And saber, small sword. Betting slip. Yeah, he likes to bet on horses. He's very poor in uh, f finances, basically. He was, but he's now rich because Edmund died. Uncle died and I'm rich. Do you think he killed him? Ooh. Empty horse is there to set the time? No. 
No, well, oh well, oh shit, you're actually right. You're right, Snoop. Potentially. It would mean that this is after... Well, that's a good point, Snoop, actually. This is after... 1015. Good point. Um, so I was thinking about that situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's- that's what I think. That's what I think. To kill Peter? Kidnap Peter? But now I can... I couldn't figure this out because I couldn't find Edmund's name. But now I can just do Lazarus, I guess. Lazarus went to the Isle to kidnap Peter badly. Does he want to kidnap him? What if they were fighting about Mary in the manor? I says Lazarus Edmund wanted her back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did want her back. Um, I just... Cause, cause that's all blown up. But she's, she, she, she's just chilling here. She's not saying anything about it. So, I don't know. But also, we haven't seen Lazarus at the Isle. Hmm. He had tried to. Kill Lazarus Hurst. No, 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 no. Nay. If Lazarus is still alive, then how can Koch end up with the Golden Idol? I know. I have no idea. I, I, I have no idea. I don't know. So... <laughs> I'm trying. I'm uh, making a weird loop here. Uh, Lazarus heard went to the no, he didn't. To oh fuck, to kill Peter? No shit. I don't know. My poor little brain. First scroll is hard to guess. Oh my god, I'm doing my best, but fuck. I do think the first one is about the manor, because that's like early morning stuff. Early morning stuff. Okay, so let's say let's say Lazarus was was killed there. Let's say Lazarus was killed. Uh, let's say early in the morning, Lazarus Hurst got killed at the manor. And... Oh, 
Okay, 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 okay. Um... Okay. Okay, okay, I'm getting somewhere. Hold. Lazarus Hurst. Fuck, but the time doesn't match up. At 11.30, Lazarus was at the inn. And received the message from Ada that said, Meet me in the place where we first met. Which is the manor. But it's not early, early morning. That's fucking me up. Um... Do you think... Oh, do you think the guy with the cannon actually killed him? Do you think he was it? Walter Knott. But I don't have his last name. You don't... Do you think he killed him? Could it be next morning. It could be. I haven't I haven't checked the dates. Uh what if it's Walter? Cause he says real men like us could beat uh without weapons. Okay, that's not okay. Uh Me and my employer are getting out of this blasted country. She used to work for Edmund. I don't know who now is her employer. I guess it's Walter. Oh, this- wait. Wait, wait, wait. I th okay. Hold up. I thought this guy was called Walter. Walter not. Could that be Walter Keen? Yeah, yeah. So they work together then. Hmm. Yeah. This is Walter Keen, probably. They're both staying here. I think. Um Let's say Walter Keen killed Lazarus. Oh fuck, it doesn't work because I don't have all the info here. Aww. Okay, who are dead? We have some dead bodies at the manor. Most likely Walt uh, Lazarus is there, dead. We have... James Turner dead. And we have... I mean, I'm guessing he's gonna die. But this is supposedly Lazarus. Do we have a time here? No.
Bike went by at a time, yeah, in the morning. It went by at uh, like 8.30. The bike went by at 8.30. But it that basically means that the bike went that way. And then the rest of the time the bike has been somewhere here. So we know it's after 8.30. I just sounded like a fart. It was my elbow on my desk. <laughs> um. I'm confused. So let's say, let's say David Goran was killed at the manor. Uh, by... Because I mean, there's a bunch of charred bodies. It could be David. Right? Couldn't it? But I feel like I would be brute forcing it if I'm like... And w yeah, why would he then... No, a bike was second. Last was the two horses that went looking for, um, for Lazarus. So this is, this is Lazarus and this is the two men that went looking for Lazarus. What if David killed Lazarus at the manor and then later uh, David's posing as Lazarus? And gets killed here? I don't know. This is like very wild speculations that don't really make sense. Two or fewer? Holy shit, that's very close. That is very close. Um... Two or fewer slots. Okay, so the middle... Um, the middle thing we know is right, because we have the information here. It says, before noon, Alistair Koch killed James Turner at the crossroads. Um... Hmm. What if David Goren killed Lazarus, but then resurrected him? So that then later Walter Keane could kill him. 
that does that does make sense. Switch manor and cabin. I can do that. No. No. Walter Keen killed. If Lazarus wants Mary back, wouldn't Peter kill him so he couldn't get to his wife? Oh shit. Oh shit! And that's why he's so chill. Oh. You're right. That's why he's so chill and drinking and partying. He has just killed. Nothing can stand in my way. We'll kill our enemies wherever we go. Oh, shit. Big brain. Big brain right there. Huge. Huge. Okay. So... Then, let's fill in the blanks, I guess. Well, this is manor, we know that, and that's cabin. Cabin? Okay, early in the morning, Peter Batley went to the manor to kill Lazarus Hurst. Because Peter Batley... No, 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 no. Because Lazarus Hurst wanted to have the ideal wife, or the lost wife. Fuck. I was thinking wanted to kidnap Peter. But didn't I try this already? No, you can't do that. Uh, wanted to... Good meeting, Snope! It was just a thought. It's a great thought. Thank, thank you for sharing your thoughts. Uh, went to the manor to... Or Lazarus went to the manor to... No. No. I tried this already. Ideal wife. Lost wife. Hot summer. Kidnap? Well, he said, like, I'm gonna have him sent to the colonies. So I would say you kidnap him and you have him sent away. Uh, lost years? Good idea. Good idea. No. Uh, kidnap the ideal wife. <laughs> no. Kidnapping Mary. Yeah. Yeah. I I feel I feel like it would be weird to kidnap her, but maybe. 
kidnap. No. no, Nicholas. I don't know her last name. Is it Bedley? <gasps> if you want the wife, why steal the husband? Well, he threatens to have him sent away. So that's why... Early in the morning, Lazarus Hurst went to the manor to kidnap Mary because Lazarus wanted to have the ideal wife. Yo, we got it! GG's. In the afternoon... Um, David Goran went to the cabin to kill... Walter Keen because Walter Keen tried to blackmail Lazarus Hurst. How do you know Mary was at the manor? We don't. I I don't know. Lazarus Hurst to get back his lost years. <gasps> oh! So good! <sighs> Before storming the king's castle with the order party, Lazarus Hurst led his men to Sebastian Cloudly Cloudsley's old manor in order to kidnap his long-lost love, Mary Badley. Nay, Richards, who was hiding there with her husband, Pete. That's true, cause um, he did write like I know where you where your 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 husband has hidden you. That's true. Upon entering the manor, Lazarus and his troops were confronted by a drunk Peter, and the cannon he had won while gambling. Peter blew up Lazarus, breaking the idol, and then fled. Ah, because there's no gem in the idol anymore. Fled the scene with Mary. Thank you for playing. Down with virtues! Hey, weren't you with the order party? No, 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 no. I was never part of that ghastly organization. <laughs> Oi! I can take this gilded brass trinket for scrap metal. You only have... You can have three sous for it. And call yourself lucky. Oh, he's 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 trading the he's trading the the, the the idol, and this is a uh, Koch. Wow, that's so good. Oh, whoa, that was so tough, though. You can't sell it for anything because it's broken. Lol. Mmm, that was lit. That was a fun game. That was a fun game. You were there in the background? Oh, I didn't see you. The end sad. Well, good thing is there is still DLC. Um, but I think it's best to start that next week, probably. Because I need to get my food soon, and tomorrow I have other stream plans that I'm very excited for. He's squint real hard. I'll see if I can get back there and watch. See if I can find your face. Epilogue. Is that a DLC? Oh shit. Let's see if we can find you. Where's Emron? Where are you then, Emron? Are you in the marketplace? Are you here? Is this you? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Guy with the... With the violin, is that you?
Oh, you better be watching in the background. Oh. This was super fun. Uh, epilogue. So I, that, this doesn't sound like it's the DLC. Grand Vision of a Better World. Oh, this is not... What are they doing? Some kind of weird greet. This is... So, hold up. This is not the DLC, right? Because the DLC is... Spider of Lanka and Lemurian Vampire. So that's not what this is. Uh, I probably don't have time to complete this full thing, but let's have a look, I guess. Man's not breathing. Donate to a veteran who lost his leg in the noble defense of his homeland. Half empty bottle of gin. Secret hand sign, yeah. David. Um, I don't know, Edward Crumbly, Cloudly. Witness the power of the idol in my hands and swear loyalty to Lazarus Hurst. Oh, you see his face get younger. We'll build the ideal society. They're just explaining. What happened? Brotherhood of masks. The only thing... The only one thing is worse than imbeciles. Imbeciles with power. Rich and noble have a social club with mystical rituals and other hogwash. So stupid that they didn't realize... When they had something truly miraculous technology in their hands. However... They are influential and persistent and have already caused a great deal of harm to me and my goals. He's getting younger! He was making a face at them, lol, no. Walter Keane has told me more about their organization and practices. If he tells the truth, and they are truly devoted to their religious entity of Griffin Reborn, I could gain some powerful allies for my next move. He is literally reborn, though. All citizens are equal. All citizens must serve society to the full extent of their abilities. Citizens must be evaluated according to how virtuous they are. Society with internal contradictions is unsustainable. Therefore, it must be led by the most virtuous citizen. A king could step, should step down. The king should step down. Ar aristocracy must be abolished. The more virtuous citizens are better able to serve society. Oh, the more virtuous are better to serve. Therefore, virtuous citizens deserve to gain more time on this earth. And bad citizens deserve to lose time. Makes sense. This is unbelievable. My pure Mary is joined in matrimony with that clown Peter Batley. She must have done it out of grief for my death. <clears throat> Such a hasty decision goes against every principle of virtue. Therefore, I consider the marriage null and void. <laughs> Easy for you to say. She will come to me once she learns I still live. For now, my duty is in the service of human. Is in the service of uh, take presence. <clears throat> Society must be built on principles of virtue. Only this can it become truly great. Look at the Lemurians. Thousands of years ago, they had an empire on the banks of the Seven Seas. Their ancient technology continues to baffle modern society, but they became inert and decadent and forgot how to build and operate their machines. Their empire crumbled because it was built on pleasure-seeking, not virtue. It is by divine providence that I got my hands on a working ancient Lemurian artifact, the Golden Idol. I'll use it. I'll use its powder powers to send set humanity on the right path by building the ideal state. Wow. I swear it. Yes, with these powers I do whatever is necessary to build a better world. Brotherhood of Masks. Sebastian dead. Willard dead. That's all the other people. 
Yes, my lord, I swear my loyalty to you and will undertake whatever tasks are required of me. David, I thank you for dealing with all the challenges relating to my death and for keeping an eye out on our an eye on our new ally. I do not feel do not feel I have impressed him. I do feel I have impressed him not only with the golden idol but also with my vision of the ideal society. Come to our hideout. We're ready for the next step. Hmm. Um, well. Claim to be a reborn a griffin. And transform the brotherhood into the order party. Um, using the idol to make himself young and infiltrated the Brotherhood on the new identity of Lazarus Hurst. Edmund Cloudsley. So he never actually died. He just... He just made himself young again. Um... Edmund was captured. You think Edmund was captured? No, 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 no. Walter Keane was captured. And Edmund convinced him to join his side. Um, potentially David. No. Uh, Walter Keane. Lazarus Hurst convinced him to join his side. No, Edmund! Hey! Walter Keane was captured. Or the other way around. Edmund Cloudsley was captured. And Walter Keane convinced him. Okay. Well, it is Walter Keen that's being captured here. Okay, I'm making a silly mistake here. Uh, Edmund Clausley convinced him to join his side. Edmund Clausley used the idol to make himself young and infiltrated the Brotherhood under a new identity, Lazarus Hurst. Then he claimed to be reborn, Griffin reborn. <laughs> I switched it up. Oopsies. Um. Yeah, whoops. Uh, left the idol to the Brotherhood. In his will. Wait, no, he left it to the family. Well, I guess Brotherhood. Uh, who was the first to die? Sebastian. Loudsley. Well, he left it to his party, but I guess Brotherhood? Uh, no, a, a, a family, I mean. Uh, in his will, but then... Da Where's David? David Goran. 
on Edmund Clausley's orders. Stole the idol. Accidentally stabbed. Who was stabbed there? I don't remember. Oopsies. Punish, is it David? Who had the idol here? Will it write? Oh, that's the same dude! Oh, that's the same dude. I didn't realize. Willard writes on... I'm thinking it was on Edmund's orders. Stole the idol and accidentally stabbed... Good right. Who did he stab? <laughs> Task David Gorn to punish David Gorn. <laughs> um, no. Um, Willard Wright. I think. Or the other way around. Punish yourself. Welcome back, Bruno! I don't remember anybody accidentally stabbing someone. Oh, they did... They did stab David here. Here, Willard Wright is killed. No. We would write on Edmund Cloudy's orders, stole the idol, and accidentally stabbed. Who did Willard stab? Wait, Willard isn't here. I'm confused. Oh no no no. Willard died. Um Willard died here. But who did he accidentally stab? Himself? No. He stabbed someone. Hmm, interesting. Scorched knife. None of these people have been stabbed. What? I'm confused. Um... Punish David Goran?
I don't know who accidentally got stabbed. David Gordon is Ash Blair? Wait. Huh? Ash Blair is a tobacco brand. Wait, but that wasn't Ash Blair the the dude that died here. Wasn't that Ash Blair? Oh no, Angus McBain. I was like, wait, what are you saying? Is that guy? Hmm. 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 One by fake name at the hotel. Right, right, right. I don't know. I don't know this part. I don't know who got accidentally stabbed. I know Will is stabbed, but he's dead. Go back to the inn? Uh, so here we have Willard Wright, who is dead and stabbed. Revenge. That's the constable. Watchman, sorry. And... It makes now more sense to me because I didn't I didn't realize this was the same person. I didn't realize this was the same person as uh, David. Uh, I did see that they looked like each other. Willard Wright got stabbed with a dagger. Okay, so I guess that is what we need then. They look the same, yeah. Uh, the, the thing here is that it doesn't say like which period it is, so it's easy to mix up things. I think that's what they want. Um... Brotherhood tasked. Um, Walter Keen. Yeah, okay. I see, I see, I see. Uh, Brotherhood Masters, Alistair Koch and James Turner. Helped Lazarus first. I haven't read the rest of the sentence yet, but 
uh, seize power in the country and enforce the rule of virtues by taking youth away from common people and giving it to the order party members. Oh, they take away and they give. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, okay, I get it. You, you charge it up. Right, okay. Right before the final showdown with the uncooperative king, I guess. Um uh, kidnap kidnap Lazarus Lazarus Hurst wanted to kidnap Mary Batley, but was shot by Peter Batley. And the idol was broken. And then here we have the DLC. Oh. The DLC is going to be next week. Hype. Uh, next week is going to... It's going to gonna probably be Tuesday next week. Because Monday I won't be streaming. Probably. Uh, so yeah, for now I got I to gotta say my goodbyes and get my food. We're eating Thai leftovers. Thai leftovers. Homemade Thai, though. It's not, not official Thai. Well, I guess it's still Thai. Well, is it? Oh, what a cool game. Um, We are raiding someone who Small uh, just suggested to us. And I'm back tomorrow. And tomorrow is going to be... It's going to be awesome because tomorrow we're playing more... Uh, King of the Castle. Um, King of the Castle, for those that don't know, it's like a, it's a Twitch integration game. Twitch chat integration game where I am the emperor of a country and my country is consists of three different regions. And the people in chat are being divided into these regions. And uh, every region has their own goal and their own type of people, I guess. And together with your people, you have to see that your goal gets reached. And you can riot and you can throw the, the emperor off of the throne. Um, we're playing that tomorrow. And uh, I'm excited. Time to revolt. It's such a cool game. It is such a cool game. Uh, let me see where I am sending you all over to. Please stick around. Please stick around. Oh no, I know I was... <sighs> Sorry. I'm very tired. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're going to Silly Cat, who is playing uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, she, they pronouns. That's all you know. You need to know for now, uh, because the rest you will you will discover when we get there. And if there's people here who are new here, toss me a follow if you enjoyed it here. I would love to have you back. Uh, this goes also for the people who are watching on YouTube, because uh, I'm also streaming there. And uh, you're new here, nice, nice. Um, yeah, tomorrow King of the Castle, Tuesday, more. Brain games. I'll see you tomorrow, chat. I am going to get food and I'm going to chill and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> now you're stuck. Yep. Yep. Please copy paste your raid message, by the way, into, into their chat when we get there. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, thank you for helping me as well. Y'all are legends. Bye. Hello, hello, welcome in. Hi, Lords of Pan. 
Hi noobs, welcome in gamers, small. 